squad leader is going to be. Right. You guys put up for a vote? Loyalty are pretty good ones. Uh, I will. I will be unable to do that one, because I'm an assault marine. Right, but we got two no, tactical marines. The leader chooses which one, and the, the uh, yep. free weapon is Ah, okay. Leader. Yeah, All like right. if if our apothecary becomes it, we can take the oath of loyalty or the oath of knowledge, or the oath All of right. the emperor. All that right. marine can be any of them, but the knowledge. Well, I guess in the oath of the weapon, we don't have any devastators. <laughs> Unfortunately. We do have tech marines. We do have a tech marine. Add tech marine. And the other, <clears throat> was it two marines that aren't here? Well, they're gonna, they're just gonna be already in the drop pod, by the way. VVX no. and Genghis. Wait, do tech marines even get one? Yeah, get uh, one. Both of the weapons. Both of the weapon. Okay, all the way. They, they get one. Yeah, that looks like it. Um. Mm -hmm. Now, the Oath of Knowledge gives us plus 10 weapon and ballistic skill versus a chosen enemy, which, you know, yeah, Tyranids. Which would be Tyranids, which is probably the only thing to try. Yeah, plus, but only one get a library and a boost of <laughs> psychic power. Yeah. Uh, but that only gives us uh, go to ground, dig in, and strong point squad abilities. I mean, Tactical Advance might be a better squad mode for this. Considering we need to get in, get out, times the factor kind of thing, right? Besides, the Furious Charge would be quite good for a assault. Well, yeah, so a tactical advance and Furious Charge with Bolter Assault. Oath of Glory might be the way to go. Because it's all keep moving stuff, and we only got five hours in this mission, so. Yeah. I think Oath of Glory might be the, the oath we need to take. Yeah, Which we can't means... stand in one place. We gotta move. Yeah. So that means uh, one of our assault marines and one of us tactical marines needs to be the squad leader so we can take it. If we're in agreement that uh, Oath of Glory is the one we should take. Sure. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Sure. Okay. Put up for a vote who your team captain is. Jeez. Can we, like, just fucking randomize it? <laughs> <laughs> we're playing now, so good. Oh, we're, we're role playing now. Okay. Yeah, we're role playing. You guys are you guys are discussing the tactics of the of the mission. You we're guys kind of the detail. Shit, we're just like nodding to each other. You're nodding to each other. We're, we're, just <laughs> we're doing hand <laughs> signals. <laughs> All right. Then who among you uh, takes uh, team captain? Then. Mogers. Just one. Need one. Sure. So your character nods a little bit harder than everyone yeah. else. Puts yes. his hand on his shoulder. It's like, I will take the lead, brother. Right? How does he, how does, how does he say he's going to take the lead? I will take the lead, brothers. I then nod. we shall not tarry. Let us follow. Let us give our oaths to glory, brothers. For the emperor. For the twice. emperor. For the oh, emperor. Shit, no, I keep on nodding. <laughs> our faith strong, it'll see us through this mission. Rar. Rar. Faith is our shield, brothers. Yep. You guys, uh, guys, want to discuss your tactics at all about uh, your insertion or anything like that before you guys go insert? Who all is here? Is that I'm a tactical. We got Apothecary. And an apothecary. Okay. Yeah, the two marines will be in the drop pod as well. They're just agreeing and getting on the drop pod. VVX and Genghis Pawns. I'm the uh, tech marine. Okay, so we got tech, apothecary, bubbles? tech marine. We got at least one assault. Who else is here? Burning Bubbles is not then, here. Then he too is silently getting on the drop ship and nodding his head. Mm -hmm. I'm also tactical. Okay. So we got two tacks, an assault, an apothecary, and a tech marine. Is our uh, librarian not here? He is not here. Okay. And our he other asleep. assaults, I guess, is not here. Our other two assaults are not here? <laughs> um, oh, no. Uh, I'll fail. No, no, they'll be here, so you can use them. You have access to their character sheet. Just tell me what you want them to do. Yeah, sure. there's five. You being the captain. see four. 
There should be about 80 of you guys on the vessel. I'm on the vessel right now. Okay. Oh, you are? Okay. Uh, your space marine's right there, Mr. Neil Tyron, right? Oh, and so we're all getting on the drop pod? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. you're boarding yeah. the drop pod. The the um, Death Watch commander told you your mission. That they're going to insert you over into the drop site itself. You guys should be right on top of the shuttle where the... Where the um, where Mango's called out. And just a just a quick recap, what is all of our objectives? You can read it and you can read it in the mission br briefing. Yeah. Yeah, mission briefing. I gave you a, a handout called mission briefing. That gives you all the objectives that you need. Yeah, just mission get the data core, bring the mages back alive if possible, and then uh, find the missing mercenary group. Got it. Mercenary group is secondary. Yeah, hey guys, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta go feed the kitty. All right. Okay. All right. He shall be part of the lore. Part of the lore. <laughs> Reality <laughs> itself has become suspended in time as the GM fulfills <laughs> his worldly obligations. That's one totem cycle, I gotta tell you, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Why is the server prioritizing feeding a cat over dropping the pod? I don't understand. I don't understand. I nod in disagreement. See, the, the cat got uh, somehow grabbed the flux capacitor on the ship, so they can't fly the ship, and the ship is only orbiting around. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. How do course. you, a non-tech marine, know so much about the inner workings of this drop pod? Mm, smell uh, that? It smells like heresy. I smell, yeah, heresy. <laughs> heresy. All I knew was I fell from, from the sky, and probably mine glitched. So real quick, Cobra, you did get your uh, cybernetic implant and uh, server on, right? Uh, right, yes. You guys all aboard a drop pod, you guys ready? Sure. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Ready as we'll ever be. All right. <clears throat> ETA, five minutes, the hour of the countdown, five... Four, three, two, one. They launched. You just stand on wings of fire, tormenting Earth of a dying world. Within the thunderous, claustrophobic uh, hold of your drop pod, the assault of your senses, the agony crushing G forces exerting your body will kill an ordinary man while outside the armor <coughs> cementing burns like a falling star. But you're no ordinary man. And during this furious trial, you are space marines, the emperor's cho chosen angels of death. Within your mind, you recall the mission briefing, replaying it with perfect clarity. World of Tantalus, a resource moon on the edge of Castobel system, a, ca a system around which the jaws of the Great Devourer are tightening shut. Your minds are focused on the mission goals. And then, roll for perception. Hi, right, everyone. Perception? Modifier? Mm -hmm. yeah, no modifier. Oh. <laughs> God, we ain't seen shit. Uh oh. You ain't he seen shit, you ain't hearing shit. Okay, modifier four, I think. There you go. Mm. Oh, <laughs> None of us saw well, anything. Yeah, you don't hear it co incoming, anyways. Um, you guys all of a sudden hear rattling, shaking. Tormenting, roll for toughness. Toughness saves. We're going to see if you get hurt. Uh, go ahead, give yourselves uh, plus 20. Oh. Plus uh -oh. 20? Yeah, oh, wait. yeah. Or my, what, what's one's a good one there, Yell Mug? I mean, plus is 20 is a, is a standard good bonus. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Good, I don't want to make it difficult where you die. Yeah, plus, plus 20 would be a bonus. So that would be like a, uh, a fairly standard bonus. So we're re-rolling? Put that are we rolling this? So whenever, whenever you click the skill and it says modifier, that's where you put it in. Right. Unless unless you, yeah. Although unless anybody who take... failed by more than two failed. Yeah. Right. Unless you want to take one d one d ten damage, I suggest you re-roll with a modifier twenty. All right. That means I should be good. Excellent. Ooh. Go ahead. Roll a one d five and go ahead. Uh, 
reduced by two. Whoever got a point negative five. That would be me. Okay. 1d5 minus two, you said? Yep. And as your drop pod descends through the atmosphere, you hear the... I think there's too much. Not, yeah, you hear the cacophony of fire and and raging torment. Your pod tumbles around through the sky, and then it finally, towards the end, finally is able to recorrect and land. Retro, uh, the retro thrusters burn. You guys are now opposed, supposedly safe. Nothing about this job is safe. Oh no! I know the agreement. Upon your upon your descent, you guys notice that the, the drop pods door did not release. None of them. Your your drop pods slammed in the ground. You guys know it's the ground because it's very hard, and you guys are at an angle, funny angle, but angle nonetheless. Our cohesion uh, is currently six, by the way. As far as our cohesion points for squad abilities and stuff. Sweet. Nice. You guys go going to uh what is the squad check roll for that? You guys go to the cohesion? No, no, I'm just saying we have uh six because it's my base of my fellowship, because I'm a squad leader for four, plus I'm training command skill for plus one. Uh, plus my battle armor gives me plus one to our cohesion for my power armor history for a total of six. But yes, you all see that the entire drop pod is strewn about. A whole gash is in one side. I don't see shit. Oh. I know that agreement. I also don't see, I, I don't see shit. Okay. As, a, as a tech marine, I would like to inspect the drop pod and see if there's any way that we could get out of it. Alright. So what should I roll for that? What skill? you think tech use uh, yeah it'd be tech use all right any Wait. modifiers uh give yourself it's gonna be plus 10 for you all right let me know if you don't have a character guys here we go B. thank you guys everyone aha uh, five uh, degrees in success okay you're able to hit the emergency hatch and all the doors drop Aha! The button is right here, brothers. Uh, here, right, everyone. Right, everyone roll for perception. Go ahead, plus Excellent. 20. Excellent. I'm glad there was no warp trickery to move the button from where it normally is. <laughs> I know uh, I, have no, I had to try really hard to find it. Modifier is 20? Yes. 20 on perception? Alright. UPX. Who doesn't have a character on the battlefield? Yo. I don't. I think I don't see my character. Okay. What would stay your character? I'm on there twice. For oh, no. I don't see anything. I'm looking around. Far off. Uh, yeah, go yeah. ahead, delete the other duplicate oh, of you. Here we go. Yeah, mug or move them where I can delete them real quick. Uh. Okay. Okay. And what do you guys get for perception? I got okay. 4.7 degrees of success. You guys, up, upon leaving 5. the drop pod, you guys hear a cacophony of claws and teeth and roars in the distance. That must be the Tyranids. All right, and one of you, uh, fought. I nod in agreement. No one can hear the nod in space. So. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you nod. Well, it's a good thing we're not in space. It's true. Um, question, uh, how, what, what's the gravity like? Normal. Normal one gravity. G. Normal 1G gravity. If you don't know as much, your exosuit will support your weight regardless of what Gs that are. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. So our field of vision is supposed to be so tiny. Oh, did I did I fuck with yours? Okay, where's which character is yours again? Here, put it out in the open. I'll fix it real quick. Yeah, I'm a I tiny am, little baby. 
I'm blind as a bat as well. Okay, okay. Only sort of same. I can only see 30 meters ahead of me, brothers. There must be a field of dust kicking up to prevent us from seeing any further. It's actually nighttime. That must be the new turn of life for. Our night visors are clearly not working. Tachymarine, can you fix it? Yep. I Me. can give it a shot. You may have 30. I've got like 10. I mean, I, I see like the distance again of what the drop pod is uh, outside of the drop pod, and that's my vision radius. So what? What? <laughs> were you yep. joking, or should I actually roll? For no, that? I'm, not, I'm not. No, you should roll for it. See what's going on. All right. Mine is about fifty meters. You do. Uh, distance. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, my my radius is fifty meters as well. So you're you're inspecting everyone's visions. Uh, yeah. Meters. Yeah. Fifty yeah, so meter meters. radius of vision, as far as we can see, we are worse than humans. That's fine. What skills should I yep. roll for then? Check all our helmets. Technology. Go ahead. Tech the, use. Uh, yeah. Plus, plus ten. All right. Here we go. Aha. Who are you checking first? Oh, um, I'm going to check uh, Yilmug's character first. And see us. Which uh, and which is Yilmug's character? Ancius. Uh, oh, uh, I am. Hold on. I am right here. Good. Our names aren't below our characters. Oh, God. Now I'm blind. Are you blind? <laughs> yep. Hmm. Is it because of the. Uh, no. Oh, never mind. Whatever you did, Tech Marine, made it worse. <laughs> My sincerest apologies. <laughs> My optical sensors are no longer working. Looks like I'll have to operate by sound alone from here on out. <laughs> no, but I got a positive roll. He informs you that your sensors are damaged indeed. Throughout that tumble and the destruction is messed with your sensors. Our sensors are indeed damaged. Clearly they were messed with during the tumble. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. On, on, on Yelmug's character, you see, a, like, a definitive, his his visor is cracked in the left eye. Damn. Oh, sweet. So I'm the one with the little red eye in the, from the Astartes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever your carry, uh, 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 your helmet. You have a full helmet, right? Yeah, everyone's got a full helmet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Astartes movie. Okay, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. one of those. Yeah. Everyone. Really good, that one still worked. <laughs> Mm-hmm. As everyone is trying to check their, trying to figure out what's going on, I check my own equipment quietly. I do the same. Okay. I guess that's that tech use check. Tech, tech, tech use check, yeah. Just Any modifier? Uh, minus ten since you're not a tech marine. You don't know specifically what's wrong. Uh, uh, one of my if you're one of my skills. Uses, like, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, one, I use what my skill in tech use, so I actually got trained for it. Oh, you're trained in Okay, uh, same as, uh, plus 10. Plus 10? Yeah, plus 10. All right, so for me, it's going to be minus 10. Mm-hmm. Right, we're able to... I have also... no idea what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're uh, the guy who just rolled the 2.6. Uh, you're able to determine you have nothing to repair the damage that's done to your night night vision. It was damaged. In fact, you see that there's, like, your left eye completely blocked out. And your right eye severely damaged. Strange. I didn't feel any pain whatsoever coming down, and yet I'm so handicapped now. No, no, no. Your suit is handicapped. You actually took a test in the shack, if you recall. Your dropship yep. rolled and tumbled and things smashed in your face and all about. So. And the Dan character, your guy decides take off his helmet. He just takes it off because he can't see Jack Doodley. And which character is Dan's? What was your name? Karnoff. Uh, I'm going to ping. It's on the, uh, here. How you, no, how do I ping? Okay. Okay, take so. Okay. Yeah, I suppose I'll also have to take off my helmet. Otherwise, I'm going to be in blind state. 
So, can I attempt to repair everyone's uh, helmets? Get them back in working order? You do know that there is... Those Tyranids still out there somewhere. Right. So, we back. better uh, get the repairs done as quickly as possible, right. then. Ofe, Nars, who's that character right there? At the leading edge? I'll throw for him. Because I think he's one of the guys that's not here, right? I don't know. I can't see anything. I, can't just, see anything. I don't know. You're just kind of clicking in the darkness, buddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this guy wanders off this way. Uh -oh. He thinks he hears something. I'm so <laughs> glad... Uh... Our brothers are, are idiots. Okay, so we're still in the drop pod, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the you drop pod is open. We you hit the are button. Checking, you're checking your suit. So, your... so what, the one I'm asking is, firing off a flamer is a bad idea. It's up to you. Hmm. Depends where you aim it. Ex a, well, we're inside the drop pod, right? It's probably a bad idea. We're slightly outside of it. Are we? Yeah. Because we opened, we hit the release button on the drop pod. I thought it wasn't working. No, it released. Like, the doors are open. Our helmets are not working. Some yeah. of our... Yeah. So, I'd uh, like to, uh, I'd like to attempt can, to repair everyone's helmet I'll, one by I'll one. i like the pilot light on my flamer. Get it going. Because I have that, apparently. <sighs> In the meantime, while he's repairing the helmets, can I take my helmet off so I can see again, Thomas? Yes. <laughs> Everyone, I... put your helmets in a neatly organized pile, and I'll start repairing them. I'm gonna don my helmet back on. You're gonna have to re probably repair uh -oh. as we go. <laughs> what is see that? now? Ooh, yeah, I can see it, Konya. I can see that light. Uh, yes, yeah, you should have. You should have a light now. Okay, so I'm just repairing helmets. Do I need yeah. to roll for each one? Uh, or am just, I just doing just do one, things? Do, just do one check. Go ahead and do uh, plus 10 to repair all. All right. Or to see if you can repair all. Let's do that first. And then another yeah. one to see if you repair. And minus 10 on the repair. Set both tech use, son? Yep, minus 10 on repairing. All right, well, this is plus 10 to see if I can. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I'll shine my light over. Nope, for he tells you know it, it's indeed beyond repair. Most of these are beyond repair or heavily damaged. And some of these, like you're gonna need a whole new set. Brothers, I regret to inform you that all of our helmets are quite bungled. Hey, take off my helmet and throw it at the building. Yeah, I'm with my helmet on. I did he's, not. I, I put my helmet broken, back right? on. It's just the night vision that's broken, right? So no, mine, mine's foobard completely. At least that's what my Thomas helmet. Told me. Yep, okay. yeah. foobar. Bam, bam, bam. Tyranids, what? Tyranids, cool. yeah. I'm gonna latch mine onto my belt. All right, let's pick a direction and go, brothers. We've wasted uh, enough time roll, looking at helmets. Yeah, roll for initiative. Uh, uh, what's the initiative <laughs> roll? What do we do? Just roll. Should be a, there should be a check for initiative, right? There's no initiative button. Uh, uh, there is not. A moment. I, I, I ha uh, my, my helmet was working. I just took it off just to inspect whether there was anything wrong with it. I put it back on. I didn't find anything, so I just put it back on. Okay. But if your sensors are offline, something's interfering with them. That's all you guys know. A lot of you guys have cracked, cracked eye sensors. Um, I, believe I didn't take any damage. No, you took no damage. Only one one did moth. It was zero, right? Yeah, I took zero damage. Took zero damage. Your armor saved you. Uh, what is initiative? Yeah, because I don't see an initiative button. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's the interrogating the uh, Let me look up in the book what how they did it again. The book does talk about an initiative, oddly enough. And I bet you anything. Probably an agility roll. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. 
combat section. Double check where they did that. Yeah, the, the initiative. Yeah, they have a section for initiative. It is roll d1d10. Agility bonus. Okay, so there is no, there is no skill for agility bonus. It's a, it's a 1d10 plus plus agility bonus. So it would be the first digit of the number. Right. So for 40 agility. would be four. Right. So what was it? 1d10 plus agility bonus. Confused. Let's roll 1d10 plus your agility bonus, which was the first digit of the number of your agility. 1d10 plus agility oh. bonus. Okay. Uh, I'm trying I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, so yeah, I just type in that? Yeah, you slash roll 1d10. I slash roll space or 1d10, 1d10 plus whatever your agility bonus is. Okay, so okay. slash rolling 1d10 and then my agility. Well, yes. not your agility. Your agility bonus, so the first digit on it. Like, oh, you have your agility tenth, tenth bonus is your bonus. Tenth, so like, so my agility is fifty-two, so the bonus is five. Yes. Yay! Damn, you got some agility on you. So Tyrion has got uh, the the horde got twelve, and you guys so it'd be Dan first, and then all of, <laughs> I did not type that. Okay, that well. Me. Then, then you. There we go. Are, who's that? Danego. Can I throw the tackle? Okay, you go first. Then Dan. Then Moth. Then who's next after that? Uh, I uh, believe me and Anakius tied. Then Anakius. And Kaius. Okay. It's like Anakius so, has higher agility, though. Yeah, so I guess he could go first, or before me. I can still I can st still see nothing by the way. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you guys out there in a second. Yeah, the only thing I see is light uh, yeah. shining from one of the one of the people. Oh, there, there, you go. there we go. I think I see some tyranids. Oh, are those the tyranids? Looks like it. Yep, they are. No, those are clearly some weird crab people with swords and shields. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I don't know. <laughs> they look like squid people, by the way. Squid <laughs> people. They've got like, mithril skimmeters. Right. Got them mithril skimmeters. Yeah. Nope, they are indeed here. And I'll share in your journals. All right. You immediately know what they are. They are Hermagons. A whole heap of them. Hermagons. Is that like Vortigaunts mixed with hermit mm. crabs? No. Were the Hermagons the one with guns or were those Termagons? That's Termagons. You'd be okay. fucked if it was Termagons. It's Hermagons are the, the melee ones. Uh, let's see. Kill one, ten take its place. They're truly without number. This race is doomed violent death before before every shadow is elimination scored away by force barrages that fires in the, the hells themselves death by the machine of god death is here Where's that voice coming from? Oh, I'm just driving to you think what they are <laughs> Put your helmet back on You're schizophrenic, it's a voice inside your head <clears throat> Let's just keep this between us brothers, I never said Force said what? <laughs> I never see no homo. <laughs> well, we would know what these guys are anyway, because we're space marines. Yes. That's why. That's why I gave you the the detailed list there. So it's on your journal. You know what they are? Just shoot and kill. Yeah. I don't see where that is in my journal. It's in other handouts. It'd be so. Hermagant. It's shared with everyone. Is it yeah. Journal. Yeah, there it is. Where's journal? Yeah. Yeah. Journal. Uh, chat. You should see journal. Looks like a little newspaper. Yeah. That's where your character sheets are. It's under characters. Under each. Yeah, it's a character. Oh it's a I character. see mission yeah. briefing. I don't see the thing. No, 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 no. It's a character. Yeah, you put it oh. under characters. Yeah. Yeah, it's a character because I have to use it that way. So when it goes to hit you and another such. Ah, where am I going? Here we go. Got it. All right. So. 
Domingos, Castiero, Tactical Marine, you're up. I would move to the, I'll move to the uh, west side and start shooting uh, at the... You can move hey, your character. You, yeah, you have a ruler too, see? You have a ruler right here. So whatever your movement character speed is, just move them that far. I would suggest not getting in front of me. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm like moving, moving to the right, like right here. And then start uh, slamming the Hermagons. Who's our flamer guy? I don't Yo. see him. Are you moving your full, like, are you moving your full speed action sprinting, or? Um, I'm still new, so <clears throat> is that so full action sprint is like one it's action a, point? I believe it's your full full turn. So you use your full turn to run, I think, twice your distance there, Yelmug, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Well, it is my full distance. So go into character sheet, and then... I believe yeah, it's it under be weapons sheet. and talents. So half move is four, full move is eight for me. Well, that's real slow. Yeah, it is. Right. <laughs> so like yours. Yeah, it should be. Well, so half move is six, full move 12. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what does that mean? What does that translate like? Is it's that meters? meters? It's meters. Meters. Oh, I can I can't move that far, huh? Mm, mm. You're you're, but you can shoot at the end of that full move. Uh so a charge. You're gonna be running to a melee attack. Run. You're gonna move. You're gonna be darting out. And that takes your whole action. Oh, <clears throat> okay. It's from the center of your character. You're doing it. You don't have to do it from the right of your character. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're cutting off a couple meters doing that. Yeah. So you're going to run for I'll do a full run to the uh, okay. left side. Yep, go ahead. All right, that's your action. Okay. Uh, next is... Let's see, down the list, 14. Then it's Dan. Go ahead, go. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh... Okay, how how would I calculate a charge charge action, and how would how far would that take me? Uh, it tells you in your character sheet. Do you not get that? Yes, yes, yes. Movement. Yes. But by by the way, just so you know, flamethrowers fire in like a thirty meter cone uh, okay, in front of me. 15. So watch out for the fire if you get in front of me. Yep, he's telling your character that. I imagine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd imagine you would know what a flame would do. I'm the yeah. GM, so <laughs> maybe you should All role right. play on this. <clears throat> I'd imagine he'd know what a flamer could do. It's... I spend my full action running towards this place. Okay. Um, I don't want... Running towards uh, the Harmagons. Okay. Running towards Harmagons. So I think it's here. I think that was fairly. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's after them, it is the Hormagons. They get... They get their sheet again, make sure I do them right. I don't want to F you over. I think we might be F'd over anyway, we'll see. Hmm, not necessarily, it's up to you guys, because you guys can do multitude of things right now. I nod in disagreement, this is not over. <laughs> we all have to Right. Remain. Right. So let's see, this one is going to come this way. This one's going to be... Oh, jeez. Yeah. They move fast. Uh, let's see, they move as fast as you guys. 36, 18, 12. Is that going to care? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 36, 18, yeah. But I only have 5, uh, 10, let me 15, 30. Yeah, all of us see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's all I can move. Next is... Oh, uh, I should also note, I think I, because of my starter jump back, my movement can be doubled. It's just I'm not going to redo, redo my turn, but that's a thing I can do. It's, it yeah, can yeah, yeah I'll, I'll allow it if you're going to jump back melee into the guy in your turn. Give me up. Uh, uh, no, okay. Or, uh, what's the jump pack? How much does it give you? There should be a dash attack with the jump pack. 
No, we're, we're going to do it next turn. It's, it's already done. It's all right. Oh, you already moved? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I mean, like, I moved into the, like, my, my first turn. So it's all right. Just continue. Mm -hmm. Hey. So, Swarm went, Dan went. Now should it's... Be. Should be Moth. Go. And then... And Cobra went, right? He had no, a he nine. Didn't. I haven't gone yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you got, you're after him, right? You got right a seven, right? there should be enough to be looking at something. Okay. Yeah, just barely. Ah! I fired my flamer! Okay. I like these things. I'm gonna nice. fire my flamer. Right. Everything that gets uh, hit has to make a uh, agility check to dodge the damage. Fire. I'm not in agreement. You get a plus forty, by the way, since it's I don't, uh, I don't roll. A storm. I, so I don't, don't have to roll to hit. It just fires a cone, and they have to roll to not be hit. And if they fail that roll, they have to roll again to not be on fire. Okay. Oh, it's a, uh, it's an agility minus zero. Okay. What's the damage on that one? Uh, it's 2d10. Go ahead, roll your damage. Roll your, your damage. damage. Uh, yeah, roll your yeah. damage. Okay. Uh, you kill this one in front of you, and this one is on fire. goes that way. Uh, okay. You might want to click on it and then do the status effect thing. I'll, I'll get to that. Okay. Uh, next player, it's going to be you. Me? I Ooh, think did I, I hit, it's... Did I hit this guy? Or here? You hit the two I described. Hold up, let's see. Uh, I, I just can't see where I'm actually... No worries. Where the cone you, would be. you hit stuff. It's a 30 degree arc in a 30 meter distance. No worry. So it's hard to determine a 30 degree arc on stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so your turn. So, uh, Yomug, Yomug and I rolled the same. So, Yomug, would you like to go first? Or would uh, you like sure. To? Okay. Um, hey, go, Yomug. There's a question here for you, Thomas. Or uh, is is this a horde we're fighting? Yes. You said swarm. Okay, so it is a horde. Yes, yes, yes. Swarm horde. Okay, not, so you're using that as like it's a technical term for the game statistics and not just as a descriptive term, right? That's that's correct. So it okay. is, it is, I can't, I mean, to your character, you won't know size, but... Well, no, 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 but I, I have Hellfire rounds that every time I, every hit with it reduces the magnitude by one. Ooh, that's nice. And that's it does help an you. additional point of damage against hordes specifically. Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty beefy one, so it's going to be nice. All right. Oh yeah. By the way, stuff on fire from the flamer takes one d10 damage around plus four. Uh, it's it's gonna die next turn. It's on fire. Right. So I'll move over here. I'll use my uh, selector and my uh, bolt gun to switch to hellfire rounds, and I will go pew pew, pew um, against a horde. Plus forty, and then yeah, with the size of horses, I think it was a plus forty modifier to hit it. Pew pew. You hit. Hit. And then hit. the damage. Uh, if I get it, it says I may inflict righteous fury on any damage result of a nine or ten. Go for it. If that matters. No, nope, didn't matter. I rolled two ones. <laughs> uh. Oh god. But, but it's a plus one to this. Uh, and their magnitude is reduced by one. Cool. I'll keep a note of that somewhere. So it's actually damage eight, and their magnitude has been reduced. Sweet. All right. All right, it just says one additional point to the damage of the horde's magnitude per hit. Per hit? So, so she did seven magnitude well, I did eight hit? damage, or seven damage. So eight Okay, so eight total magnitude damage? Yes. 
Oh, wow. Da, da, da. Okay. You drop these guys. Nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you a visual. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Tesseract, go. All right. So, first of all, I'm going to see how far away I am from the nearest Tyranid. Uh, too far. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a full move let's see so I can go eight with a full move not a whole lot so I I can barely just go here so I'll do that boom that's it alrighty now it is our glorious 14 man turn can I oh what was his name again Mangos Castari, you're up, man. Domingo Castiar. Yeah, Domingo Castiar. Okay, I just I always need to reference everything <laughs> since I don't have anything in my head. That's fine. No, no, you're good. I'm the same way. But yeah, that's why those the little sticks there. So feel free to use the stick as much as you want to measure things. Yeah, I use the heavy bolter at the nearest guy. Her Hermicon. Yep. Yeah, you're just shooting in the swarm, so plus 40. Fire away. So, hit plus 40? Mm-hmm. Ballistic check plus 40. Okay. You hit stuff, deal damage. Let's see. And with that, you drop those two. Ooh. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's the uh, swarm's turn. Well, it was my turn, actually. Oh, was it? Cause it oh, was... Yeah. yeah. It was, it was wait, his turn. Wait. Oh, they got 12. Okay, Dan. So, go, Dan. Sorry. My apologies. Uh, uh, well, I can't really do much, so I'm just going to move. Your jump jets will allow more bonus movement. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Yeah, so I can move to a total of 60 meters because that's just double of my movement. Yeah, max. so you can do your uh, jump pack assault and hit stuff. Uh, can I do my wings? What was it? Mm -hmm. uh, wings of Angels. Oh, wait, no. Yep. Rafu Descent. Rafu Descent. Yeah, I believe you can. All right, yeah. so I'm going to move my character up to the Harmagon's face. Hello, bitches. Uh, and I'm going to make a melee attack hey okay. the chain sword uh, yes the chain sword which is gonna be i need to press the hit or the damage uh, uh you have to roll you have to roll the uh hit it's gonna hit. be yeah you have to okay. find right, the weapon yeah melee weapon you hit the hit button go ahead and give yourself um the minus 10 that we discussed it's unwieldy and the pilot check you gotta do a pilot check as well you gotta do the pilot check and then the, the attack all right pilot check i have it, it at trained so yep uh, but still minus 10 because of the big ass sword all right where's the pilot when you roll it when you hit the roll the for pilot check you do you do pilot check minus 10. there's a button mm -hmm. to the left of but the... it's it's I'm going to give you a plus oh, 20, right. so it's going to be a plus 10. So do plus 10 instead of minus 10. Okay, pilot, pilot, pilot. Because you're on a flat plane and you're jumping. Minus 10? So. It's under no, characteristics. No, yeah, there you're you gonna go. You're going to do a plus 10. Plus you're gonna 10. You're going to do a plus to, 10. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you plus 20 to your negative because it's on a flat plane. You're hitting something in front of you. All right, so that's gonna be okay. So that's gonna be just plus ten. Uh, yeah, plus ten. Check. That's yeah. Do that again because you did like plus minus ten. Don't do that. Just do ten on your check. Yep. That's okay. ten. Okay. I okay. succeed. You successfully fly over there. Okay. Roll for your attack. All right. Now for my attack, I roll for hit and modifier is minus ten. Yes, Even that's unbalanced. Have... That's, that's your yeah. sword. That's mm -hmm. the unbalanced. I see. That's only for parry. No, 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 no detriment. That's only for parry. But you still hit. Okay, go ahead. 
All right, so uh, I also have a crushing blow, which will add two damage to my melee if I successfully hit. Uh, so that's going to be modifier is zero because all right. Uh, Degree okay, success so we'll, is four. Yeah, do a plus forty to hit the board. Weeds. <laughs> All right, roll for damage. All right, I'm rolling for damage. Thirty-four. And Des describe uh, how you kill all three of these guys in front of you. Oh, I hell leap yeah. into the air. I uh, land on one of the hormagons, uh, squash its head uh, <laughs> with my power boot. Then I swing my two-handed chain sword from right to the left. Killing the one next to me, so this one, and just splitting its torso in two. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Its entrails just splattering all over because of the chainsword, uh, well, pulling them with, with its rotation. And then afterwards, the third Hermogon tries to, well, while I'm dealing with the two in front of me, tries to attack me, but I duck and just split its head. Uh, vertically, just 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 an overhead <laughs> swing, Sweet. and just uh, destroy it. Nice. Uh, I because uh, I was doing a wrathful descent uh, ability. That means that uh, when making a charge, oh, that wasn't a charge. Was that a charge? Can that be considered a charge? Yeah, that, that's a charge. It's a, it's in a, that wings or whatever. That's a that's a charge. So that's I can that's... inflict an additional one d ten damage to the horde's magnitude. <laughs> Okay. So, how much? So you one d ten. So okay, go ahead, that roll seven. Okay. Alrighty. Man, all this magnitude stuff really thinning the ranks. I just realized I could have done like a full auto burst or something and every degree of success would have gotten an additional hit. Right. <laughs> All right, now, it's the, now it is the swarm's turn. Yeah. Okay, so that's... The swarm's turn, they just scream. Yeah, <laughs> you hear yeah, cacophony of death and destruction. And I'm assuming since it only allows certain amount of members to attack per magnitude, that's why I want to make them move that many guys as well. Because I can move the whole assortment, but I think that might be overwhelming. <laughs> Too much so. But we'll see how you guys do. I might have to adjust. Alrighty, they moved. And it is now... Moss turn. Right. Then... Yell mug and then What about that one Tierna that got lit on fire? Is he, he dead now? Oh, uh, he's super dead. He's just running in circles. Oh. So... <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> he's not even paying attention to you. Yes, Hence I, uh, the screaming. Okay. Oh. I guess I'll fire a little bolter shot off then, because I got nothing else. Okay. Bolter go brrr. We still doing the modifier thing? Mm -hmm. Plus 40, yeah, it's a big horde. Oh boy. Okay. Nice. Roll for damage. Ooh. Okay, describe how you kill these two. They lined up in a row and I shot through one and exploded the other. Sweet. Awesome. Oh. That's sick collateral. Master shot. Alright, yell my gear, you're up. <clears throat> cool. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I would like to, instead of just aimlessly shooting at a horde, uh, try and find the direction of the crashed ship that we're supposed to be going to. For this mission briefing correctly, they shot down yep. a ship. 
Um, so I would like, oh, I don't know, I guess, what, perception check? Or... You should have a tactical tactical skill, I imagine, of some sort. Would that be a tactical skill? Yeah, it's a tactical situation. You're trying to figure out where the objective is, where you're at relative to the objective. Because Intel said you should be right on top of a shuttle. Your your guys kind of noticing you guys are not on top of a shuttle. Yeah, so what skill would I need to use to uh, try and locate it? I don't see tactical anything as a skill. Really? I'm not seeing that either. Yeah, me neither. Let me see what skill you would have. Weapons and talents. Uh, other skill. Double team. Arrow of authority. You have that. Uh, grenade. Uh, characteristics. Charm. Uh, command. Dodge gamble. Initiate scrutiny. Do scrutiny. Maybe evaluate. No, he can do a scrutiny. So he has to do that initial check that I described. Be an awareness check to just be aware sure. of who the thing is. Any? Oh, there's also a tracking. There's also a tracking check. Survival flathead. Uh, go ahead. Give yourself a plus ten. <clears throat> just filled. Oh. Your guy is aware that you are not where you're supposed to be and this is not the shuttle's location. That's all you know. We need to find the shuttle. Uh, I nod in improvement. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm glad you approved battle, brother. But you where are art thou, captain. shuttle? <laughs> right, you are the captain. You can actually give commands and orders. No one with better eyes than me search for it. After all, my helmet got messed up. So Can what, I roll for command, awareness? Command roll to try and give a bonus to somebody to, to do it then? <laughs> yeah, sure. Do I, I'll, I will search for the shuttle. Any, any modifiers on this? Uh, plus um, 20. Oh, nice. I am the squad leader. Yeah, you have the air of authority. I saw that as a oh, yeah. squad leader. Holy Ooh, shit. He command the shit out of me. Okay, so he, he commands you, you to... You look for the ship. <laughs> right, find us the way out of here, Yes, right? brother. All right, uh, modifier on awareness roll. Uh, let's give yourself a plus 10. Only plus 10? Okay. Only plus 10. Oh, so, shit. So, so, my, so my uh, command roll to have him look didn't, do, uh, didn't help him look? You guys in the middle of the dark night. Your senses are fucked up. You don't really know you are. Your shuttle's crashed. No. I'm sorry, sir. I can't find it. I looked everywhere. <laughs> I think. That you're sitting there, the drop pod. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and try again. Another awareness. Another awareness plus ten. Okay. Here we go. All right. Two point one. Yay. Your guy guy has a <clears throat> as he's looking around, you know it's a giant wall. This direction. Where you guys kinda of sorta of came from. You recognize that's an Imperial fortress of some kind, and this is you're on the outside of it. Not the location. There's may a or giant may not wall. be Yep. And there may or may not be a comm satellite in that direction. There may or may not was... be a comm satellite in that direction. Well, there may or may not be a comm satellite in any direction. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm not in agreement. What do I know? I'm just you're, a tech marine. You're right. Your intuition tells you that is probably your best bet to get out of the situation. Cool. Fall back through the breach. I'm sorry. Tactical move through the breach. Okay. We don't need to pointlessly yeah. kill endless hordes of hormigons. Oh, you re recognize it, huh? All right. Actually, if there's a wall, we could probably funnel them through that choke point. But someone would have to make a tactics roll for that or something. Evaluate, maybe? I don't know. Is falling orders and falling back to that breach? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm asking the team. Yeah, I'm gonna follow orders. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna follow okay. orders. Follow okay. orders. Good soldiers follow orders. orders. <laughs> Execute order sixty-six. And I think <laughs> you guys. Order order How fast is everyone at the run speed? All thirty-six. I'm thirty here. Thirty. Sixteen. Oh. Sixteen. Sixteen run. Oh oh, um, my run is uh, twenty-four. Oh boy. All right. That brain's a slow boy. Good thing Tech he's already in the back. The, yeah 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 okay. Uh, and you're also in the back there. I'm gonna be 60. You're 16 total run, even with no, run. No, no, 60. 60. 60. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you you can fly, dude. You can just do a pod check, and I'll, I'll allow you to fly back to that breach. Now, what we could do is we can do some tactical advances and go into squad mode uh, to do Wait. this. And if we do it quickly enough, uh, we can go into squad mode and then activate tactical advance. So that means. Everybody gets a free reaction to just move your movement uh, in addition to our normal actions that we get. Ooh. Uh, I thought we were in squad mode, damn. Because my nope. action, which I used, the Wrathful Descent, it required a squad mode to be active, damn. I mean, we so. can assume we're in squad mode, but we just haven't activated a uh, tactical advance yet. I don't think okay. it's going to change much in the grand scheme of things, Dan, but you can talk to Boko about that. All right. What are we trying to do? So, uh, I mean, I think the rule said that we could start in squad mode if we wanted to. Yep. Yes, you can. So, okay. uh, I can just but... be there. If someone just needs to initiate it, it's a half action. Um, and then once it's activated and it costs us one of our cohesions, and that's yep. it. You can but do then that. after that, we can then, as long as we're within 30 meters of each other, mm -hmm. um, make a free tactical advance. Uh, which is just a free a free move every turn, in addition to whatever else we do. Okay. Oh. You're no nice. longer in direct combat, so we're not going to do the initiative thing. So you guys are fleeing to the breach right now? Out trying to outrun the swarm? Sure. As long as you so have you take, more... If you take the tactical advance into account, then we basically have a 40-meter run speed Wait. instead of a 30-meter run speed. Okay, I'll, I'll grant it. All right. So that would be 80 for me. <laughs> right, so the, but the, the swarm's going to be hot in your heels right at that breach, though. Uh, can I turn my Space Marine? Like, something like token? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a little like, blue thing on it. Yeah, there's a little oh. blue thing in the back, oh. see? Okay, 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 yeah. Thanks. I guess I'll back up towards the breach, firing flavor shots off as and... close. Anaris, did I fix your sight yet? Who's Anaris? Uh, that would be Yelmug's character. You mean oh, Ansius. Ansius. Uh, right now. Should have more vision than Ansius now. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Your sensors come back on. Yay, my helmet. It's, it's, working, on. it's working again. Yay, I'm not in, 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 in approval. You're not in agreement? <laughs> <laughs> hey, all Marines come this way. Second. Okay. okay. Who's going to the breach first? Uh, I would like to go through the breach first and then set a uh, crack grenade on the breach to uh, try and basically uh, blow it up and collapse it. The you know seal off the horde of the swarm that's coming after us as we so go you're trying to collapse. And the, well, the... won't that just make the hole bigger? I mean, the idea with it is to collapse it. To make the fill it in as opposed to make it bigger. And That's why I want to do it in a way do that does it that instead of just <clears> making a bigger hole. Do a scrutiny check. You're kind of scrutinizing and analyzing that wall. Give yourself a plus 20 on it, too. It's also logic, too. <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Wall big! 
Big horn. I mean, it's not uh, skill <laughs> scrutiny. Uh, what else you got? Uh, you realize it's a big hole, so your guy doesn't think anything of it. Logic if trained that would work. And no, mm -hmm. logic isn't trained. Okay. I you can command the tech it. marine to do it. There you go. That's true. Plus twenty. And then I can do a logic check because I'm trained in logic. Make this hole not exist anymore. Use tech I'll use see you. what I can do. Say tech, tech use. use. All right. Tech use. All right. What is the uh, modifier? Uh, for that wall, I'm gonna give you ten, and someone's gonna have to give you covering fire because these guys are gonna be right on top Yo. of you. It's gonna take you about uh oh, thirty seconds to set up the charges. I rolled an eighty. Holy shit. Oh, it's going to take you a whole minute. You actually fumble one of the charges to the ground, and the horde is a lot closer. Uh, I would like to then make a, a stalwart defense action then, and just stand in front of a tech marine. Okay. Him. I'm just sitting here firing flavor blasts and anything to be this close. Okay, go ahead. Do your roll. in front. <clears throat> It requires my fate point and a full action, so I guess that's minus my one of my fate points. Uh, they're not on top of you. Is that a melee thing? Melee ability? That is a ability. It, it makes me unable to move or dodge. It allows me to parry attacks, uh, okay. and I cannot be outnumbered. Which, which is great because that 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 parry penalty won't come in effect now. It won't, or it will come in effect because you can parry now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't remember what it did. Hold on. Uh, uh, you have unbalanced. Unbalanced does uh, negative ten to parries. Yes. She's That's honestly true. all that much. Is that armor gun still on fire? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You guys are running to the hole. This is all happening as you're running to the hole. So. So what happens when you don't stop, drop, and roll. You start melting. Right. You guys. You guys dropped your weapon. Fire. You turn. Ran to melting. the hole. Right. So now the swarm is descending upon you guys. So. Right. As we back through, I'll do a. F I don't know, fall over. Yeah, we might want to get through the hole before we start trying to destroy it. Well, yeah. The idea was I wanted to set a charge as we were moving through it. Uh, but it's gonna but take I, a, a. But good... this space marine's too stupid to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm I doing my heart. I'm me. trying my hardest. Yeah, he met himself. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, he's like, huh, it's a big hole. I, I guess I could throw a bomb at it. Huh? And then, then uh, Neil's like, oh, fuck, bombs, arms. Ah, I fucked up. You guys are panicking. All right, who's doing what? This is, uh, this is the current situation. The bugs are currently at your drop pod kind of cresting over kind of the small cover you guys have, the little crater. So they're just cresting over that. Okay, we got 10 frags, 10 cracks each. I'm just throwing frag grenades at these. Sweet. Right. Roll. What's the range? Uh, SB plus something. Yeah, SB times here. three. This is here at SB times three. All right. What is my strength? 40, so times three, 12. So Strength 120 meters? Bonus. Yeah, something like that. Same thing, bonus. Yeah, so 120 <laughs> meter throwing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Okay, you guys are strength range. Yeah, a lot. Let's go. Chuck it. 120 or 12? 12 would be... Uh, 12 would be on top of you. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 120. You guys are space marines. You guys are chucking these grenades for your very lives. I'm gonna. Th I'm gonna say, are are you aiming at anything particular? Or you're just chucking no, I'm grenades just as hard as you I'm, can. I'm just pulling okay. the pin and launching it into the group. All right, 120 it is. All right, throw your grenade. Uh, hit. Do I roll hit? I should say. Yeah. Should. Yeah. Plus yeah, I want to see where. Yep, because it's going to determine where that grenade kind of lands. Yeah, plus 40. Ooh. So, yes. Oh, that counts as a ranged weapon? Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, I need to deal with that then. 
Roll your damage. This is where you land. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this group is just annihilated. Plus it has blast five, whatever that does. That means everything in five meters gets hit by it. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure that's correct then. So I'm gonna do five meters. I'm just gonna say that this that this grouper is super dead. Okay. And don't forget to take your free uh, ten meter advance through the hole. Yep. If he's even close enough to the hole to do that. Yeah, what I'm saying. I mean, I can't back up through all these cost of fuck the people here. <laughs> Plus, I'm the one with the flamethrower. So. Okay. And then, who else is taking the attack action? Yeah, I will. Attack let me see what the range is on those Tormagons, too. Because they might be able to pew pew you right now. SV times three. Nope. I don't think they're within range. I think you're, you are lucky. Yeah, you are super lucky. Okay. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the exact same thing as Moth. I'm going to throw... Uh, I'm just going to throw a frag grenade. And... Uh, I'm actually going to aim, I think. I'm going to try what? and aim for, like, this group over here. Okay. All right. Uh, give yourself a plus 10. Okay. okay. Something, for, something for specific. Let's see. Frag grenade. Two hit roll. Plus 10. Ooh, okay. 3.6. All your damage. All right. Seven. Okay. <laughs> you yeet these two. What I would like to do a full auto burst. Okay. With my hellfire fire rounds. Oh oh and by the way, uh after taking that action, I'm gonna move further into the hole. Let's see. How how much can I move? Like and then you have fire plus thirty? Uh you're just shooting? Plus forty. You're shooting you're just shooting the horde like you were before? Yeah. Duck, duck, I'm duck, duck, full, but I'm doing a full burst, which gives me an extra 20. So is that plus 60 then? Yep. Da, 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 yep. Laying down covering fire. Sweet. So that's five extra hits. Okay. And or, describe. Honestly, it goes up to four. It goes up to four. So it's four hits. Okay. Do your, do your damage. Is that four times? Yep. So uh, that. Hold on. Uh, one of those was a 10, so uh, like and there was a 9 in there, so there's a, an extra 2d10 in this. Okay. Let me do a check real quick. So that's an extra 10 on top of all the other damage I did, plus that's 4 hits to their uh, additional damage to their magnitude because it's uh, Hellfire. Because every oh hit gosh. does an additional point to their magnitude. Right. Uh, what direction you were, were you shooting in generally? Like, where's your... Like, you're shooting... Oops, sorry. This way? Okay. You just lay down murderous fire. Uh, how much damage did you deal total? 60? Um, 10, 20... Uh, jeez, a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the question is yes. Or the answer is yes. Okay, so... <laughs> You, you punch a big hole into the swarm. You guys notice the swarm kind of backs off there. I did 75. Oh, God, yeah. So let's take plus, off. Uh, plus the bonus four to magnitude. So the swarm kind of, you see it kind of whimper and fall back a bit. Out of range. Yeah, I saw that willpower roll. Mm-hmm. They make one when they take a certain percentage... Damn. Hit. So I didn't know the Tyranids had willpower. I thought they were just mindless beasts. They they did they did and do, and especially in Horde. That doesn't make Otherwise, you'd be dead. If you yeah. had to fight these individual entities, you would be dead, no doubt. The Horde yeah. is falling back. 
I'm still standing in the ground. My feet are firmly placed. And, uh... <laughs> does your character have any knowledge of uh, Tyranids there, Yelmug? No. He has no? Okay. No. Just do a basic intelligence check. Yeah, wouldn't that be under, like... Plus 20? Plus okay. Is it possible I keep shooting at them while they retreat? Yes. Uh, I have a fire selector, so I can do like a full fire, uh, full auto. Bugs Whatever go that, that would way. Be. <laughs> Bugs retreat. Go ahead, do your roll, dude. Plus forty. Okay. Then damage. Yep, roll your damage. And what direction were you shooting in? I was shooting at this direction. Okay. So, the degrees of success, that would determine how many enemies you hit? No. It just kind of gives me an indicator of, like, how well you do at something. Okay. And then I make a deterministic, as a GM, what that, what that entails. All right. So if it's like five degrees of success, man, you fucking nailed it. So I'm gonna give you a little bit more than I normally would, or eh, it's only point one. So you kill, you know, you kill one or two or whatever, depending on the damage dealt. Yeah. So the the horde mechanic it base is ten damage for every one entity killed. It's usually what it kind of tells you, but it says at GM discretion, do something. So that's well, what I'm I doing. My degrees of successes on that last shot was basically every degree of success was an extra bullet that hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. That's, That's great. Maximum. Yep, <laughs> that was great. And it the the the, the horde fell back. Uh, so yeah, your guy's like, huh? Yeah, horde fell back. Hmm. Horde go that way. So what are you guys doing now? Through the hole. Yeah, I guess we fall back through the breach. All right. Go ahead. Move your characters. All right. I guess I'll keep a watch over uh, the hole, see if uh, more shit tries to come through. Um, as a sword marine, I'm s just checking forward, seeing what's in front. Assuming that's the ship in front of us. I will be right back, real quick. Okay. I'm assuming that's the ship in front of us. What you're, what are you looking at? Big or <laughs> thing. There's, there's something big and ships like in, in the it, distance. Can we like roll time. to determine what it is? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna you roll know, for you know it's something. I'm gonna roll, roll for roll? scrutiny. Is that a perception? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. no per your sense, your senses are perception. working mostly. So I'll give you guys your uh plus twenty on this one. Pretty routine. It's it's the spaceship. Oh God! It's the shuttle, guys. <laughs> and Dan's Jeez. like, yeah, it's the shuttle. Oh my God! And then you're like, it's the shuttle. You're all like, it's the shuttle. <laughs> I nod. That's a shuttle. <laughs> nope. Oh my God. And then a D. That's an awareness roll, not Yelma's perception. Like, you order yeah. them to go that way. Wouldn't it be an awareness roll though? They're, they're they're actually looking at it, so they're physically it's looking the same at it. Like, stats anyway. Yeah, so he you're physically okay. looking at it. You're trying to get situational awareness of like you're like, oh, is this the thing? Because you acknowledge, oh yeah, I see it. Go do a perception as well to see if you can actually see what the fuck it is. It's <laughs> funny. And they're all like, yeah, it's the ship. And you're like, yeah, it could be the ship. Yeah, we might be on target. There and then you go, oh, you see the shit you, out of that. Your, your sensors are dialing in, you zoom in, you realize that is a Imperial Guard radio, radio station. Not even close to being your objective, but oh could be, prove useful. Well, we can maybe get in contact with the mercenary group. Cool. So, no, guys, that's not a ship. That's a radio station. Oh! Any antenna? Yeah. Disapproving nod. Yep. <laughs> You're yeah, sure yeah. getting kicked out of this nod. We might be able to use it to get in contact with that mercenary group and the Majos. If they're still alive. 
I could try to see if I can get that radio online. That would be great. Excellent initiative. All right, so... And as you can roll for perception, give yourself a plus 40 as well. Plus 40, damn, okay. Mm -hmm. I am back. Try to make it a... 3.1. You hear the, the the horde is coming back. You hear the gnawing and clawing of teeth again. And the horde is coming back. Defensive positions while he gets the radio working. Okay. So I'm just going to beeline it for the uh, station here. Hey. I would like to accompany of a tech marine in case anything hey. comes out. <clears throat> are you guys still gonna do the bomb thing, or are you guys? He dropped the bombs. You guys gonna put that back up, or? Oh, oh we yeah. didn't do the bomb. Oh. <laughs> I'm just making sure uh, you're aware of that. You did that. Your character would be aware that you guys did that. So does the bombs in the breach then? Is it active or? Uh, tech roll used there, because he did drop one. Just to make sure, I want to see if he did actually install it. Well, no, because oh. we were. Mm. I was rolling to install it and then failed. You're not gonna try and install it again. Well, I'm. I'm going for the radio tower thing. Hey, no bombs for you. Yeah, then. you immediately start throwing grenades. <laughs> <laughs> bombs? Fuck this shit. We have grenades. <laughs> That's right. All right. We were, we were using the grenade as a bomb, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then he just like fuck it. I dropped it already. I'll just throw it. <laughs> Okay, the horde is right about right at that entrance again. They're overwhelming your drop pod and everything. Damn. All right, hey, you can uh, move the Neil as you're, as you're supposed to. So I'll describe okay. to you what you see when you get there. So I'm I close the distance to the station and. I'm searching for any indication of uh, what I can do to fix this radio tower. That's the skill that is. There should be a certain skill for just looking around. Awareness. I guess you could use awareness. That'd be There's one. also scrutiny. Perception. Also perception. Perception. Mm -hmm. Survival tech use, tracking, whatever you want to use for that one. Uh, Whatever gives you the biggest bonus. Whatever gives you the biggest bonus for that one. Because, you know, survival. Like, oh god, yeah. I can see so it. So let me... Let's see. So perception is 46. Okay, and that was the uh, roll. Hang on. I'm just doing a quick... Trying to figure out which one... Tech use should be in here somewhere. Yeah. Tech use, yes. So... You use your optics and all that stuff. So tech use and uh, I think tech use will give me the highest. So okay. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Modifier. And uh, let's give yourself a plus twenty. Plus twenty. Okay. Rolling. What the hell? Why do we have a basic skill called uh -oh. contortionist? Well, in case you need to contort yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, as as you're as you're investigating around this this uh. Radio station, come out, comms tower, wherever it is. You can't really get a good idea of what it is. Uh, you know the power's out in it. That's about all you know. There's We've no power. I like, cannot communicate with the machine spirit. We've been rolling with greater than 50% chance of uh, success on all of our skill rolls, and we keep bombing them drastically. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to D&D. Uh. &D. Right, and so what are you guys doing at the breach, the whole, at this point? Oh, the first. <laughs> All right. You're just gonna hold. You're gonna hold back the swarm as it comes through. Yep. Uh, go ahead, do a perception. I just want you guys to understand, be aware of the situation. All of us do perception at the hole. Yeah, plus forty, because you're all looking in this direction. Uh, oh, that wasn't even a plus forty. Nice. Okay. Well, you as a tactical marine know this is probably an untenable situation. It looks like, and it sounds like, just a ungodly number amount of forces on the opposite side of that hole. 
Damn. You can buy time. You can buy time shooting at this horde. And that's well, about that was it. Kind of the intent was to buy time mm -hmm. for him to find well, out. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just letting your characters know that uh, this is more than likely more numbers you have ammunition for to kill. Uh, you have approximately. You could probably hold it for about ten minutes. Of continuous so, fire. So the idea of the uh, the tech use there was uh, that it, it's out of power, can't be turned on. Yeah. Yeah. But he rolled well, negative it's out of one. power. He can roll. He can he can roll again if he wants to. Right you now. Have ten minutes. Yeah, I'll All give right. you ten tries. Okay, modifier plus twenty again. Uh, since you know that the power is off, I'm gonna give you a plus thirty. Okay. That you, oh, I, I have come up possible with a possible solution to possibly ascertain what I'm doing. So uh -huh. as, you're going, as you're going through, you're able to kind of reroute some power, you can move some cables around, and get a terminal <laughs> on. You're able to online a terminal that's connected to the local network. The radio crackles to life as I work my tech marine magic. And what are you looking for specifically? This is just a terminal that's connected to the local network. You're able to ascertain some basic intel. I'm the... able to ascertain some basic intel. So, uh... Is there, is there anything that... Not approvingly. <laughs> yeah, what are you looking for specifically? So, specifically, I'm looking to see if there's any information on... Uh, both the data core and also our exfiltration point. It has no intel on any of that stuff. This is, this is a basically an Imperial Guardsman comm tower. It has uh, coordinates of where it's at and other installations around. Can and I... Has... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. And that's all it has. Currently, okay. you're able to... Can I try to establish communications with the nearby Imperial Guard? The Merc group that we're after. The what? You also have access to the GPS network. So you can kind of ascertain information that way where you're at. Like there was a... Yeah. There was a mercenary yeah. group that was sent in earlier to escort the Majos. So finding them might help us find the Majos. Um, also, finding out where we are would help us find out where to go. Where they are, too, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, tech use plus 50. Plus 50, damn, and okay. As this is happening... Yeah, I, go ahead. If I uh, throw a crack grenade at the horde through the hole. Okay, uh, roll your damage. Oh, I need to double check if I... Right, roll this right. Uh, let's see. Crack grenade. So you have to do your two hit roll first. Yeah, but I did not type it right, the damage. So the damage should be 3d10 plus 4. 3d10 plus 4. There we go. Yep. Alright, so do a hit. Yeah. Hit is, yeah, because uh, they're, they're, they're literally right outside the gate. There's like, you're not missing that. It's like, plus 40. If you want to roll it, you're going to hit. You can't do a plus 40 on, well, maybe on hit checks, not on yeah. damage. Right, on hit checks. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a good thing you gave him that 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. man. So are you, just, are you lobbing a bunch of grenades? Are you just lobbing one? What are you doing here at this one. point? Lobbing one. What about the rest of the team? What are you guys doing? I'll throw one. Okay. I'll throw two. Fuck it. All right. What about the rest Dragon of you guys? Oh, yeah, I'm look. standing at the uh, entrance to the hole, and I'm uh, just waiting for entrance to come close. You well, guys are keeping. Right. I guess we'll do that full round burst then. If you're going to be the same modifier as last time. Yep. And you guys are keeping track of your grenades, right? That's the limit to supply. I am. Yes. Okay. You have twenty. Yeah. You have twenty grenades plus whatever you guys used. Or minus whatever you used. Okay. Only, only Go for it. This time. I know. Go for it. Da, 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 da. Ooh. And by the way, uh, to get the GPS data that you need there, you're going to need that full 10 minutes. By the way. GPS need... data downloading. 
just just so you can kind of ascertain because the network is really fucked with with all the the combat going on the atmosphere all the ground combat so you're having you died for exploding damage yep so you bought yourself a minute at a time killed a bunch of the horde uh because that was 58 damage yep plus the grenades so you took a two big... shots plus my two hits also uh does damage to the magnitude all right so i'm going to do do will check as well against these guys do, do, do. Okay, so they fall back a little bit, but they don't really falter. Okay. And then you got, you are able to ascertain their Tesseract yeah. the, and the GPS coordinates and where your coordinates are, where you're supposed to be. You are 13 kilometers due west, southwest of where you're supposed to be. We need to get moving to the northeast. Right. Right, and it's 13 kilometers away, so you're uh, going on foot, you will not make it. We'll never get there in time on foot. Cough, cough, oh. we'll throw installations with vehicles, cough. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> 13 kilometers, and we have five hours, we won't make it? You sure? 13? Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. 13 Let's kilometers. Let's see. See, we can run a mile in what, 20 minutes? And one mile is like four and a half kilometers? I like I like Moth's idea. I'm gonna. I, I would imagine it's the Tyranid Swarm would catch up to us long before we could run that far. Right. Yeah. We'll not make it on foot because they're already catching up to you now. So you I'd like try. to I'd like to check the uh, facility in the nearby area for vehicles. Maybe. Look around. Move your character around. Okay, so I'm just going to move to the other side of the building here. And then... So, should I do awareness for that? Perception? Walk around. No, I, I meant use the comm tower to see if it has contact with the facilities. Mm -hmm. okay. That too. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd like to do that. So I'm contacting the facility and asking if they have any vehicles or if they can supply us with something. You hear on the line, it sounds like a kind of like a grungy man. Oi, what What you want? That's what you want. That's what you hear. So uh, I'll reply by saying, who are you? Hey, who is it to you? And you just hear static. Mm. Gunfire and then static. I'm going to specifically not talk about the Death Watch or our mission, but I'm just going to say we're under attack by Tyranids, and then I'll relay the uh, tower's coordinates. Unless static. the guy already knows. You're just talking the same. You're talking the same thing. The same guy. Same base. Yep. Same guy. Okay. Uh, you hear static. Damn. That, that channel. So, uh, I guess I'm flipping channels and trying to figure out if, uh, I can make contact with anyone. Uh, tech use, and, uh, you can spend up to five minutes. Oh, boy. All right. You Modifiers. can spend up to five minutes. Uh, plus 20. And, Yelma, what are you doing this whole time? You guys just holding the line while he's doing this? Oh, man, I succeeded the fuck out of that. You did. Uh, you're able to patch through, and you can get an Imperial Guard post. They're telling you they're just evacuating wherever they can. They they have, they themselves have no vehicles, no way to get to you anyways. You're pretty cut off. Okay. There might be some, uh, Roger in your area, that's all he knows. May the Emperor be with you, is what he tells you. Alright. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go uh, ahead and check around, see if I can find any nearby vehicles. Yeah, Buck, were you doing the whole time? Uh, I don't know. What, what was that? Hmm? What, what are was... you doing? Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Someone's clicking over there. No, no, I'm, I'm always going to be this purple here. I think yeah, they're I... just clicking their thing. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying this looks a little garage. You want to go investigate it? We can uh, we can push forward and investigate. Uh, yeah, you can go into the wall. It's a it's a. Let's let's uh, do that. Uh, we need a. I can jump over the wall and just get there. That almost looks like uh, like a pillbox type fortification. So is there a back entrance behind yeah, the wall? You guys, you guys see it? Clear as day. Back there's, entrance. Mm -hmm, there's a door there. You're able to see with your night vision that there's a door. Oh, okay, well, to the back. Nice. Yeah, man shaped, but it's there. Okay, cool. Somebody go and check it then. So you go over to the man door, you bust it down. Go ahead and do a strength check because it's small. Um, I'll do it then. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. You guys are like nine feet. You guys are off. nine feet fucking tall, and these are like yeah, normal are six. <laughs> right. Is that a flame tank I see? No, that's just something else. It's got to be something. Uh, else. so what would be the modifier? Was it my strength modifier? Okay. Yeah, the strength modifier plus twenty. Oh, plus twenty. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't beat yourself up. I'm just gonna let's do it again. All right. <laughs> oh no! You're gonna go spam! Spam! Fucking reinforce! I can't get in. The door's too small. <laughs> As he's checking out the door, I f uh, fire first round with my bolter. I think. Do I have a range for that? Yeah, it should be no. 100 meters on your bolter. Yeah, that's on 101. Are you, are you keeping them at bay? What are you doing? Keeping are you going to bay. kill more? Okay. I will move over and assist him kicking the door in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> plus 40 between the two of you. I was wrong? Okay. Your guy, I mean, the door is open, but your guy is trying to get in. He's like, punch, punch, man, reinforce concrete. What the fuck? Punch. And then I fucking in. blast it. So between the two of you, you guys just pick up the door, rip it open, and walk down the hallway. This is how you open a door, brother, but not a brother. Oh, it was not a, hole, not a push door. <laughs> Talk about making an entrance. Right, and it's really reinforced. It's about foot thick. You guys just dig in, rip it out. Damn. And you can see that it's. And very dark because your night sensors are picking up that. Yours is kind of flickering there, uh, yo mug. But you're able to ascertain at the end of that there is a, it appears to be an artillery gun or a big old machine gun. This is a bunker of some sort. Wait, where's yo mug? I can't see him. Well, that's he really just a pill, uh, pill box then. So can you? Yeah. So um, can you roll for like uh, war, war, and determine what kind of gun that is or something? He could. Okay. If he has it, I guess the Imperium. There's a Imperium checker from There's Imperium lore. lore. We mm -hmm. should start with stuff. Yeah, there's. Yeah, there's Imperium. There's something. Trying to get it. Imperium. Okay. Also, I would like to look at this thing over here. Is this a, a rhino? Okay, go ahead and do a oh. Imperium lore check as well, as you're doing that as well. Because your guy just helped him open the door and walk over there. Just well, I just turned here. around and was like, the fuck is this thing? Is this a vehicle? <laughs> Damn. Do we have an Imperium? Looks like a vehicle. Just do intelligence plus 20 or plus 30. We have a trained Imperium lore. Like, yeah. Like I, at least plus I do. 30. Yeah. So plus 30. Five degrees of success. Uh, you you ascertain that is indeed an APC that you can use for your brothers. It's not quite, you know, rhino. It's kind of like janky, but probably even a uh, farmer APC of some sort. You're not sure. Never seen it before, but it can fit you guys. Well, with fit for the wall. Get in it. Well, I would fit, like fit to. The in the wall. As soon as as soon as he says get in it, um, I say we need to check if this works in the first place. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I walk up to the uh, uh, APC and start interfacing with it, trying to assess damage, 
and uh, I'm I'm trying to communicate with its machine spirit right now. Tech use. Tech use. Plus, plus twenty. All right. Are you guys all there playing over to the APC? One point. Uh, well, maybe I'm hold up until he doesn't, and then it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, you might want to get on that machine gun. You're you're able to ascertain it did it does indeed work, though it's seen way better days and uh, it can't survive an attack from from enemies. It's not meant for that. It's sort of a tractor at this point. Do I have time to try and repair it? So no. maybe it'll move faster, be more reliable. It's, mm, go ahead, do an intelligence check on that one. Okay, here we go. Or modifier. We're kind of fighting time. Um, yeah, that's I true. know. And he's already ate up 10, 10 15 minutes already. <laughs> you, guys okay. getting, you guys are getting kind of low. Like, come on, man. All right. So, uh, modifier on intelligence roll? Uh, plus 20. All right. Oh, man. I am so smart. I'm an oh, Einstein. Man, this is. This you is. This six. is. Right, Six. you're able to you're able to not only ascertain that it is indeed a tractor, it was decommissioned to be a potato tractor. Oh boy! And it, and it is it was a rhino formerly, but you're like, oh man, this is the thing they use to plow the fields. Fuck! <laughs> but we could use it. No armor on it, <laughs> but it drives. Turn you turn it on. And it works. Now everybody get in! Can it, it fit through the hole in the wall, though? Well, we just gotta drive north and east, right? Here, here's yeah, we wanna that, get that the fuck out of here. The pillbox. Did oh, it have okay. ammo and stuff with it? Uh, are you gonna go investigate it while the team backs out, or...? I mean, we should probably have somebody else. Sure, fuck it, why not? I'll go investigate it. Yep. I'm or... I'll go first. back to the hole in the wall and just on. end watch. Is it unmountable? Can we, like, rip yeah, it out? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Can, can we rip it out and go with us? Roll for it. Tech use. Oh, I, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, uh, Imperial lore would be another I'm one. I'm a medic, not a technician. Uh, Everyone's got Imperial lore, so you can do Imperial lore. Yeah, just do Imperial lore. Be smart. And I'll assist. Uh, any modifier for this? Ah, uh, since you're a medic, uh, you're not really tech savvy, so I'm going to give you a 10. You are an intelligent creature, I imagine. Uh, pretty good, yeah. Two yeah, and you kind of you kind of ascertain. Yeah, it is like kind of like a it's like a heavy 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 bolter emplacement gun. It is you can pick it up if you wanted to. It's kind of like if you had devastated marine. It's kind of that, but two of them combined. You can pick it up, and mount it on something else. Yeah, we'll mount it on the fucking tractor. Here's the tech um, put on. Wait, let's grab it, throw it on the tractor. Uh. The tech marine could probably attach it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can I can try to attach it, or I can roll to try to attach it. It's up to Boko. We probably don't even have to attach it. Okay. Uh, Just put it on top of it. Are sort of pressed for time. Yeah, uh, that's true. You're... I just want to lift it and put it on top of the thing and then go. We can try yeah, attaching yeah, yeah. it on yeah, as yeah, we can attach it in route. Yeah, yeah so... Kestar is telling you he's not able to hold these guys back for much longer. He has killed yeah. many of them. So, so I'm, I'm already, I'm already in the driver's seat of this Rhino tractor thing. I want to drive over to the uh, uh, Space Marines and pick them check. all up. Pilot, yeah, pilot check. All right. Uh, that's just oh agility. shit. <laughs> yeah, agility. Uh, half your, half your score uh, agility bonus because nobody has pilot. Yeah. I so have, what's I have pilot. wait? I have you have pilot. pilot. I have pilot. Yeah. Okay. Except for the yeah pilot. All right. What's the modifier <laughs> on my pilot roll? Nothing. You just roll pilot. But nothing. All right. You get no modifier. And it's like half your score. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! So you're bulky for your bulky frame gets in there. You sit down. I'm like, um, I guess this is the street. Uh, hold on, hold on. You don't drive. Hold on. Drive ground vehicles. Mm -hmm. Where? Under green. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Green. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. We're trained. We're trained to this. Here yeah, we go. Cool. We are. Good. Okay. Here cool. we go. Do that again. <laughs> no more fire. 
<laughs> nice save, Moth. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> you guys, uh, the wheel and like, oh, right. <laughs> I was gonna pilot this thing. No, no, I should drive this thing. <laughs> Silly me. This doesn't fly. It moves on tracks. Yeah. Why the steering wheel pull back? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Also, I would have some knowledge of driving uh, vehicles because I was I was a tank commander. We're not trained in it. Yeah, but no. I was also a tank commander. That's my Space Marines background. Right. With more skill in you? Uh, no, it's just okay. it's just a background it's flavor. Right. That's your driver thing. So. Right. But you okay. guys been so so knowledge heavy with the damn. Adeptus Mechanicus, you're thinking, oh, it's not a, it's not an aircraft, it's, it's a tank, right, right, <laughs> I'm a little stressed out, but it's all right. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, I want to, I want to drive the vehicle over here to where I just move the token, my token, and then right. pick everyone up. That's what I want to do. And he's, uh, getting it over here, uh, we'll, we'll grab this heavy bolter. And on uh, the ammo we can grab that's nearby it. Yeah, and... And lug it on top of it and hop in and then gun it. Wait. I also throw the another crack grenade at the horde. What? Go ahead. I'm still defending, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, go ahead and roll for the grenade. I'm going to see how much time it buys you. Uh, the damage and touch. That works too. Oh, yeah. Bla blammo! And they fall back again like before. Straight at the drop pod too. Yeah. I, oh, you're gonna you can try to detonate the drop pod or something? Oh, you it's those... not like, like I see. Hold I on, see the floor is just. just... Holes at this point from all the holes One yeah. second. Mm hmm. Okay. I can see the horde just hammering the drop pod, and I just decide to throw at it. All right. Around. As you do that, the grenade goes off, and apparently someone must have loaded extra grenades on this damn thing because it goes up like a Roman candle. <laughs> There's a space marine called Thomas who went there last, and he just carried a crate full of grenades in. <laughs> so it it annihilates, <laughs> and these guys just scammer off. You know it's temporary, but bought you bought you a victory. Your drop pod's destroyed. But bought you some time. And as soon as the drop pod expo explodes, all I said was whoops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I know what it means. that whoops. Better dead than dear, dude. So do we need to Better do anything dead. to get this uh, heavy bolter out, or? Uh, let's Take see. Go ahead. Well, I'll do a percep perceptive ch perception. Awareness. You can do awareness too. Either I mean, one works because you're, you're well, looking at it. Perception is the characteristic, and awareness is the skill. So we already identified oh, okay. what it was, and we could get it out and stuff. So what are we? That's true. Yeah, we've already identified it. So. Right now, you're trying to pick it up and dismantle it, all the stuff. So just, just. I'll describe it to you. So plus plus forty on it. I succeeded. Ah, it's you gonna realize be it, you realize there's a nice nice handy little uh, handle, well, mainly for vehicles. But you're strong enough to pick it up. You pick it up and drag it out, and like, oh, this can attach to to that tractor. You can do it that way, or you can just pick it up and put it on top. Either way it works. Yeah. Put it on top. Funk. Cool. Yeah, we put it on top. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's very shittily put on top for sure. It's big old wheels and everything. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have someone attach it. Or you're just gonna leave it like it is. Maroon, attach this. Someone else drive. Everyone get in. All right, I'm All gonna right. roll for tech use to try and attach this thing. I guess I'll drive. Modifier. Tech use to mount. Mm. No modifier. Okay. 
kind of difficult. Oh, oh my shit. So, <laughs> fucking you, 98. The, the best solution you came up with as you're doing this is you knock the wheels off. <laughs> you take, you, you take, oh, you no. know, I guess what would, would be a hammer, some nails, big old nails, smash it into the top of the roof. And you're like, it's attached. Let's get the fuck out of here. Or let's get out of here. your expertise on this? <laughs> We put it. We put it in neutral and push. <laughs> Mount it on the roof. It's right there. Damn, damn. Oh man. Do you cut a hole for someone to stand out and use the gun, or someone's gonna stand on top and use the gun? Cut a hole. Just cut a hole. Are you doing this while you're driving? Or are you gonna sit there and yeah, take? Yeah, we're, we're driving. We're driving. Okay. We're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. In the distance, you hear. Very loud, disturbing roar. Unlike the other smaller ones. Meow. Yeah, meow. No, much more terrifying. <laughs> In the distance. Okay, and you guys are heading in the direction. Can we roll AO. for Zeno's knowledge to try and figure out what that roar was? You have that? Everyone has Zeno's. Yeah. yeah. Everyone Forbidden has Zeno's. Go for it. All right. I'm going to do it. Minus uh, 10. Minus 10? Okay. Minus mm -hmm. 10 was, for everyone else. It was, it was loud, but it was kind of distant. Yeah, minus 10. Just barely. Uh, yeah, you're able to... You, you fought something similar to this. I have oh, no holy idea shit. Is. Somebody knows what it is. Yeah, uh, you fought something <laughs> very, very similar to this. It's and same with you, yeah, to make it ghost. You're like, man, this this is like that that mission we had. We had to like put down a hive tyrant, right in this other sector. Sounds exactly like that thing. Uh -oh. Terrifying, terrifying. I'm thinking that has like a, a like local wildlife we or something. Did you say it's like this mission we had to put down a hive tyrant? Wouldn't this be our first mission as a Death Watch members? No, 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 <laughs> not Death Watch. Okay. So the, the, your your own independent chapters, you guys would have mm -hmm. also fought Xenos on your own. So yeah. right, that is what he knows. So you guys, you like, I, geez, I have no clue, no idea. Dan, uh, he thinks it's just a very angry squirrel or something. He's not <laughs> quite mm -hmm. sure what it is. Mm -hmm. He goes, man. Or my tummy's rumbling. Either one. He's not quite <laughs> sure what it was. I nod in surprise. <laughs> oh my god. I nod in agreement. Angry squirrel. Yeah, sounds correct. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about right. Hey, if we're lucky, it can fight off the Tyranids for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I try in an exercise of futility to explain to everyone that it is not a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I I disagree. I I don't don't believe the tech marine. <laughs> Look, all of you thought this radio tower was a spaceship. I don't trust anyone's senses on this mission at the moment. <laughs> well, I came to my senses afterward and realized that it's a radio tower. So mission, we all may all make the mistakes. Was it before or after you were told it was a radio tower? <laughs> sure after, but, you know, let's not keep score here. <laughs> so, so what was the? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but what was the uh, roar again? What do we? It was a uh, uh, hive. Turn it hive something. Hive tyrant. Yeah. Hive tyrant. Okay. For those of you who are unfamiliar with 40k lore, the hive tyrant is essentially a leader type unit of the Tyranids. He's also a giant behemoth uh, of a creature uh, and uh, would easily eradicate our entire squad. Oh, God. Gotcha. I'm going to get a guess that is similar to a great mine in Halo. Mm. Not as big. I don't okay. imagine Ultralisk from Starcraft yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I think, no, I feel like an Ultralisk would be bigger. Oh. Then, yeah, uh, Ultralisks in StarCraft lore are pretty fucking huge. Yeah, it's, they're supposed to be massive. No, but basically, you could probably think of the Hive Tyrant as, like, kind of a Kerrigan without the psychic powers. 
No, 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 not true. They do have psychic powers. So. Psychic power, I'll say they do have psychic power. That's how they communicate with the hive. Just, just kind of think of them as a giant Kerrigan. Right, or and then they... Queen or something. Right, not as sexy. Uh, here's the picture of a hive tyrant in the Death Watch uh, Discord channel. For right. Was wondering. That's a, that's what and it's ah. they're usually generals <laughs> provide, uh, uh, overseeing an entire army, usually. Yeah. So if we bring one down and an army just falls asleep, or...? Uh, no, it goes over to another another command. They they get disorganized for a little while, then the hive mind takes over, and they get reassigned or reabsorbed, returned into bi more biomass for whatever. Sometimes they okay. go rogue. All depends on the hive and how they operate. Mm -hmm. So you guys are heading in the direction of the mission, yep. right? Yep. Okay, as you okay, you guys are We're driving down the dodge. Right. right, but our tech marine took off the wheels from our transport to... That is true. No, 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 no. 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 She took off the wheels on the heavy bolter, not the transport. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, the heavy okay. bolter. It, it was, you know, think of an artillery piece of the gun, yeah, yeah, uh, the yeah, wheels. Yeah, yeah. He right. essentially put it on top, smashed the wheels off, took a hammer, mm -hmm. took a big stake, nail, whatever, smash, mm -hmm. smash, good to go. He and he nailed else? it to the roof. Yeah, it's nailed. It is, it is right. in place. Right. Now, whether well, that's good shot. for the vehicle or not, we don't know. Uh, he did roll a negative five on it, so. <laughs> I'm getting okay, so, flashbacks so, to that time we uh, strapped a sergeant onto the hood of our vehicle, running away from space bugs. Oh, yes. God. So right now we have left, and no one have no noticed it or run a perception check against that? Say, thinking, like, is this really a good idea? Or is that too late? I trust the Space Marines' prowess and tech use to be able to mount a gun to a vehicle. And, and, and he Thank is you. the captain. At least someone has faith. faith. So yeah, you can't you can't really metagame the roles. So yeah, you're you would <laughs> you would trust your captain that trust the tech marine to do his job. <laughs> uh, nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> I nod. All right, let's get okay. the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm gonna need. Navigation check, I'd imagine. Yes, from somebody. Five of them. Are all Elliot. trained in that. Five of them. I, I need am five the one of them. driving. I'd imagine it's me. Any modifiers on this? Uh, it's it's pretty routine. You have the GPS GPS coordinates. So let's go with the thirty. You don't have to. Um, uh, what is it? Oof. You don't have to be driving in order to navigate. No. He doesn't. He's just telling you where to go. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm so bad at it. We. I rolled a 99. Oh, boy. All right. So... I'm glad at least two of us succeeded, but just barely. Right. So we get to roll on encounters now. So you guys get to fight a little bit. So on that negative one, let's, let's see what you guys. Okay. Let's see. What da, 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 da. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Okay. Five. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, new map. Yep. So let's see. Necris. Let's see. No, this is relatively small. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the distance is vehicle... bigger. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's see. Who else is. Oh, the distance is off. It shouldn't be. Oh, it's in feet. Give me one second. Derp. Thought I had fixed that. Every map we load, we just use our measuring sticks. Yeah. Oh, it. Dimensions. <laughs> there you go. That should be correct. Uh, who am I missing? Yo. Yo. Uh, Angus, yeah, yeah, yeah. random yo's totally tells you exactly who we are. Sorry, Ma. Yo. Sylv. Ancius. And then once in a while we hear, dude. Dude. Okay. <laughs> and... Okay, I got Moth, the Mangos, Tech Marine, Anakis. Can you see yourself? Nope. 
Oh. I fixed that. Ansius. Ansius. That's so weird that your guy just cannot see for a reason. No, no, he's not on the map. Uh, he should be. Okay. But yeah, I also cannot see. Now you that I'm on the map. Hmm. My vision just decreased. All right. I, oh, okay. on the map. I am blind. I think that's a bat. Ah, brothers, my helmet just stopped working again. <laughs> How about that? seems to be a recurring theme. Just Neo okay, fix yes. it once. Ah, <laughs> just you're right. It's flickered back to life again. <laughs> and, and then I say, just hit, it, just hit it, and it will work again. All your helmets are fucked up. I'm afraid if I hit it again, it'll stop working again. Oh shit! My night vision went out, and I'm driving. Well, I do have the technical knock skill, which is like percussive maintenance. What was your name again? Neil. Oh, I already got you, Zeal, right? Yeah, I'm here. It's just high vision. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let me do something with you. Da -da. Oh, yeah. Well, your vision's going to stay that way. Oof. Okay. Yep. Hey. One, two, three, four. I'm missing someone. Karnoth, right? Yeah. Hey. There you go. Up ahead, as you guys are driving down the road, there's a barricade that's impeding your path. There's a valley. You can't really go around it without wasting too much time. You need to go through this path. And there's obstacles in the way that you can either try to find a way around, blow it up, or walk through it. You don't know yet. Well, thank God we have ten cracker nades each. Yeah, true. <laughs> Which and we to. used a lot. You guys used a lot. I still have every single For one. For those of, mine. of us who hasn't used any of our crack grenades, so have one, more. One tech marine has one less crack grenade because he dropped it on the ground. Oh, that's true. Wait, so that don't would be we have nine. Three grenades per like three frag grenades and three. No, no, no. We got ten. We got ten for the mission. Ten oh each. shit. We just, just assume naturally that you have ten frag and ten crack grenades at all times. Just Holy strap shit. Your at least for e or at least for each mission. At least for this mission. For this mission, it's three. Bomb. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. We are standard, standard, here. It's, I mean, the standard guys... for the book is we start with three, but Thomas has said that an egregious amount is over ten, which means we all have ten each. <laughs> all right. Mission, yes. I'm going to this mission. Keep that in so next mission we'll yeah, you guys, act of three. Right, okay. you guys had bandoliers or grenades because you're like, man, fucking arm up. <laughs> I'm going to throw a uh, crack grenade at the barricades. I mean, I'd imagine I have an entire... Okay. Entire I'm going to also throw a crack grenade at the barricades. Dude, you hit roll. three grenades was enough. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, that was literally mm -hmm. throwing grenades at uh oh! Okay, All right, we right. might be in trouble, so, guys. Who throws the grenades? Is the I lead threw a grenade. Here? Oh my god! What's the range? It's uh, it would be 120 for me. Okay, so oh, being. Yeah, but Bing. Jesus Christ! How, I, wait, you gotta randomize that though. I will right? try. I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a roll right here. Should we do the math on that throw? better is 120 seems like a lie. Oh, I don't know what my dude, brain is thinking. Dude, we're like, space oh, marines. Why the 40, why no, no, no. We, free. We're we space marines. We chuck the shit it. out of them. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. imagine it's the normal strength bonus, which say 4 times 3 would make it 12. 
then you'd multiply that by three for your strength bonus, would make like 36. Um, 36 meters is still huge. Yeah, 36 meters sounds more correct. Okay. So here's what happens. So you got a five. You throw it, and it just lodges into the wall. <laughs> Doesn't go off. Oh, no. Okay, good. It's easy to shoot it. Yeah. I want to, to go up, though, and uh, okay. place a few more near it. Yeah, can, oh, can, no. we, can we just place them instead of throwing them? You forgot to pull the pin on it, didn't you? <laughs> I forgot to throw the pull the pin on it. Damn okay. it. Did you forget to pull the pin on it? Did that you? was a question. I'm going to yeah. get out of our transport. I'm going to go up to where it is. After, like, you know, at least 10 seconds to make sure the grenade doesn't blow up. And then go over to the wall. Oh, hey, look. What if we just drive around it? You cannot. So you're saying this continues on and it's not just a giant gap in the map? Right here? Do a perception check. Can I ascertain what it is? Well, I mean, to ascertain on this map, it looks like a giant blank space. Can I light my flamer back up to get like a torch light going? Hmm. Unless you're going to give me a bonus 40 that fails. I'm going to mm. walk over to this middle uh, in camp, like entrenched position and just place a few crack, like, two crack grenades and okay. just try to make a, a bomb. Make a bomb? No. Blow right. up in the barricade. Breaching charge. Breaching charge. Right. What would I need to roll for that? Hmm. I, I imagine tech use. You're trying to just use technology and place things like I did last time with him. It'd take you about about a minute to set this up. Uh, I have no training in tech use, so. Minus 20 for minus you. 20. No, g keep in mind if you don't have training, you already have. Mm-hmm. So, uh, minus 20. Good idea. Right. Minus 20 plus whatever that half is. I, I imagine, it, imagine it would be a demolition check and not a tech use. But oh, or say de demolition. Or no one's trained in that either. You're right. So, so uh, minus 20 and and my intelli intelligence bonus? What is that? Would be. No, no, it's half your intelligence bonus. <laughs> or half okay, half of my intelligence. Uh-huh. So if you just roll the skill, it'll do it for you. And then if he's also subtracting 10 from it as well. Yeah. Not Nine, 20. Go ahead and roll the damage on that grenade. Oh, shit. Fuck. I don't think I have it on my weapon list. Sh uh, so it should be... Damage it's, it's like 2d10, like someone... I think. I'll, I'll okay. roll it. Ooh, I'll wait, roll was it. it a crack grenade or a frag grenade? Crack grenade, because it's an armor penetrating. Alright, I rolled. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> and that's... That's, that's why a lot why of damage. Rolls? Because I uh, placed two grenades. Because we both rolled at the same time. Oh yeah, he did place two grenades, yeah. That I is just true. placed two grenades. And pen six, so I guess you you eat that. Well his armor's nine. Eat. That's true. Um you could do a dodge check and mitigate half the damage. Or yeah, ten if it. you're not as high enough. Second? Is it or uh was it our armor plus our toughness, right? Right. And our basic armor is nine, so we add our toughness it's onto that. Ten to the body, eight to the head and arms. And legs. I guess it depends on where it actually hits. Weird. Uh -huh. It has a base of nine on everything. Our power. So I, I, I could try to dodge with my agility. Yeah, so you'd have to roll two, two D100s and see where it hits. Two or, D100s. Yeah, so you roll one, one D100. Oh, so I did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah. Roll one D100. 
And then on your chart, they will tell you where you're getting hit by the, I guess, the first grenade. Well, he didn't do a dodge right yet, did he? He's he's going to. He's going to okay. mitigate the damage. All right, so that's two one d twenty one d hundred and torso, right leg and torso. Right leg and torso. Yep. And uh, I need to roll just my agility. Yeah, your dodge. Yeah. Okay. Um, modifier. Just my regular modifier. Just nothing. You're just you're trying to your emergency getting the fuck out of there. All right. Well. Oh. Uh, you just eat it. Sorry. All right. Then my toughness is five but plus it, armor eight. It, so. Yeah, the, okay. Yeah, if have you had your armor and defense filled out? Uh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the uh, if you're looking at that chart, the bottom number is damage mitigation on it. So if, for instance, my uh, my the body armor for your power armor is ten, I have twenty two damage mitigation on the torso. Yeah. Because Actually, it's wait, no. Ten I I, plus your I, toughness. I didn't. I mm -hmm. think I didn't plus, uh, fill in. Plus your toughness, plus the modifier multiplier added to the toughness. Yeah. Now, granted, the the penetration of six, you know, reduces that by six. Yeah. So you should take right. four damage from the first hit, but then a lot of damage from the second hit. All right. So again, okay. So uh, say I have a standard power armor, Mark uh, Seven power armor, uh, which would make me have twenty two on the on the armor mitigation. Right. Uh, then, uh, so that's twenty two. Then my toughness bonus, which is no, it's already added in. Your toughness oh. and all that's already added into it. So oh, you okay. just mitigate. You just. Uh... Add the six penetration, or subtract mm -hmm. six from it for the penetration, and then that's which makes it sixteen. So subtract sixteen from both those damages, and that's how much damage you take. Mm -hmm. So two and oh god, math thirteen. So fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. All right. Ouch. Apothecary, heal that man. Oh, yeah. Right. A giant <laughs> hall is, is created. The barricade is destroying that, that sector. This tower kind of leans over a little bit. Seems to be ramshackled, like some put, put up hasty defenses of some kind. Go ahead and roll for perception. Who's the, who's the apothecary treating him? Uh, Yo, what's up? Okay. That would be me. As soon as you get there, go ahead and roll for perception. Jesus. Uh, okay. If that was me, I would have gotten five HP left. I see. <laughs> I can't see shit. My visor's still fucking up. Right. That's what I'm saying when you get up there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't see shit either, right? No mo yeah, no matter what, well, you can still hear perceptions, all, all senses. It's a minus five. I hear nothing. <laughs> oh, you got a minus. Over. Oh, yeah. okay. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Unfortunate. All right. You I hear your blood sloshing around in your body as your two hearts pump it. <laughs> <laughs> However, the rest of the team notices, like. Oh, uh, what was that? Death spitter fire coming from that direction of the tower, blasting uh -oh. past the medic as he's blindly just repairing this guy, healing him. Whap, 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 whap. Or whatever noise it makes. You can hear him roaring. Roll for initiative, fellas. Uh, what's the initiative Basic again? Is it just uh, agility? Uh, one, 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 one D10 plus agility. Yeah, that's right. One D10 plus agility. Right. Man. 
Mad 10. Holy shit. Nice. Okay. So they go dead last. So first up is Yelmug. Negative. It is Dan 16. It is me. Oh, what'd you get? I got 14. Oh, 14. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I see it. Sorry. Sorry. Dan goes first. Did uh, the apothecary heal me yet? No. He's no. just, he's right at you. I'll just, just stand in my place. I'll just stand in my And you can you will take cover action. Yeah, I'll right. take cover. Behind this pillar in front. I, I guess the pillar, would the pillar still be remain standing? Uh, not the one in front of you. You just took out. All right, then. Uh, the one to your right would be fine. You can kind of dive to that. All right, so that's. As a free, as a free okay. action. Yep. Yeah, as a free action. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Why, oh, God damn it. Why not? Did you guys just kind of standing up all of a sudden? I'd be like, oh, shit. Whoop. And the apothecary is like, what the fuck? The apothecary is just standing there, <laughs> taking all the shots. Uh, I'm just like, why, why are you taking cover? Why are you running away from me? What are these, <laughs> why are these running? Come back. Let me heal you. Back here. God, I damn it, you're out of range. Let me see if I can lower my vision. Is there any mechanics for taking cover? Yes. They yeah. just happened. Yeah, what he just did. Okay. So he's, you can say, I'm taking cover. And then you get a bonus for that. Like there, it's, uh, it's like a negative 20, I think, to hit you now. Yep. For ranged shots. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So range stuff, bad. You don't want to be in the open. So, who's, whose turn is it? Okay, now it's mine. Okay, uh, do you can do a perception check free. Kind of ascertain where you came from. <laughs> awareness, sorry, awareness. Yes, awareness. Thank you any, for the correction. Any modifiers? Uh, Since I, we saw him got shot. Mm -hmm. I'll, go, I'll give you plus 20. Good. You're able to know it came from this general direction. Okay. Cool. Shots to our that way. <laughs> so just seeing on the map, I do see two people directly north of us. Oh, and these people? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to move here. Uh, we got contacts to the north and to the west. Because I assume those are our coordinates of this map. Yep. North. Uh, every are you waffles? Move right over here in the cover, and then I'm going to take a shot at like that, that guy. one. This one. Yep. Okay. And he's within range. Yep. And it's, he's behind in cover, so. Right, so but uh, center name action is uh, plus twenty, so I guess. It's just oh, okay, like, negates it. Yeah. Negates it. Oh, just missed. You grazed. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. All right. And who's up next? Apothecary. 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 Yeah. I I don't know if this is intended, but I can see Dan's vision arc and not mine, so I'm pretty much blind here. Oh. Oh, uh, interesting. Give, give, give me. Yeah, give me a second. Seems like they're interfering with our vision. <laughs> could be, could be. It's got uh, the warp. <laughs> I nod. Hold up. Let's see what's going on with your character. I thought we fixed this last time. Maybe it needs to be applied permanently to the token and then like saved to the character sheet kind of thing. It, it is. That's the thing. It's controlled by character settings. Uh, uh, all player channel can only be edited by you. There's your token. Um, let's see. I'll drop another one out. 
Is that better? I, I still just see the little green bubble around me and nothing else. Interesting. Let's see what your vision is. Oh, I mean, it's like Dan's vision arc for whatever reason. It's not uh, he has, I think he has light. He has a light emitted off him. Oh. Wouldn't I have a light because I have a flamethrower? Right. <laughs> Give me a second. Low level light. How about now? Better? Yeah, that'll work. Alrighty. And you can think, dive dive to cover for a free action as well. I think I can see his uh, cone of vision, like the green yeah, cone. Yeah, I, I can see a green yeah. cone as well. Green cone? I, yeah. I have no idea it's why light. there's a, like, a green sphere around me. That's a light, I believe. No, there's there's the, like the little cone. There, like a... uh, now it's just a light source for. Alright, that works. Yeah. Low light, directional light, night vision. Maybe. <laughs> he's just a, he's just a beacon at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, your your sensors are all stepped up. I I'm fine with that just being a beacon of light at this point. Fuck, you know, flamethrower. Yeah. I was the yeah. original beacon of light. I still am, actually. I still have the light emitting from me. For some reason. There you oh go. God. I made it worse. <laughs> That's... I made it worse. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. How about that? Now it's a teeny tiny itty bitty range. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a full round first aid action, I guess. Sweet. Yep, a your vision. Sorry, what? Yep, do your thing. On Karnoth? Uh, yeah, whoever took the grenade blast. Oh yeah, he 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 ate that shit. Fucking Christ! It's so dark. <laughs> you guys fumbling out trying to get the medical thing. You're just still working on him. The light is fading from his eyes. But he's not dead, is he? He just I hope not. Hope not. He just hurt himself really bad with the grenade and the leg and the and the arm, I believe. Or torso was it a torso and leg shot. Torso and right leg, I think. Yeah, yeah. He ate that. Okay, and then who's next after Moth? I believe that is me. No, Dominego no. Castiar. Yep, go. Okay, I'll sprint to the cover. Oh, it looks like I don't have enough. Oh, I miss it. Okay, I'll just sprint to cover. Hey, okay, go ahead. I'm, oh, I'm almost there, but not completely. So that's pretty much my turn, right? Mm-hmm. And now it's the tech break. Yep, that's your turn. You, you said we could die for cover as a free action, right? How far is that? Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah, we it's a 10 meter, 10 meter thing. That's a squad ability. Yeah, I just... You're about 10 meters from cover. Sure. I'll allow it. I'll allow you to, uh, uh, yeah, and then eat yourself with that cover. Get power behind slide. it. A power slide. Yeah. It's like that Call of Duty power slide. <laughs> I technical. got it. I don't know if anyone else here got it, but I got it. Mm -hmm. My dude was saying the joke. All right. So <laughs> it is my turn. I, rather than charging in, I'm going to try to get on that uh, twin-linked heavy bolter that's on top of the vehicle. See if I can acquire target with that. It's about 20 meters from you. Just, just... 20 meters? 
All right. Yeah, let me get let me get a representation for you real quick. Give me one second. All right. Stupid thing. Ah, oh, stupid tank. Ah, there it is. That's funny. It's called tractor. So nice. That's why I was like, no, it's a tractor. Okay. Right. So I'm I move up to it. And, uh, uh, well, okay. And uh, I'm I'm gonna grab that twin linked heavy bolter. See what I can do with that. All right, it's going to be your full action to get up there and do all this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's your turn. All right. It is Back now... To the, it's either the enemy or Dan. Dan, did you go? Uh, I go. Did you already go? Uh, well, Dan's well, first, first in initiative, so... Yeah, I was first in initiative. Okay, so you go, and then the bugs, yep, go. So uh, I'm going, or the bugs are going? Uh, you are going, because I think they were after you. So if you're right. first initiative, you're at the top of the list. All right, all right. All right, then. Let's see, what, what were they anyway? What were the bugs? I Do I see them, like, uh, like how I see them on the map, or I just know that they're somewhere out there? No, yeah, how you see them on the map is how you see them. Your, All sensors, right. are, your sensors are working, the, even though it's fuck, funky. You're able to ascertain targets. All right, then I'm going to leap over in that direction. I'm going to use my... Are you sure you want to do that? I mean... Oh, actually, you're I didn't still notice. wounded, and you have Two been healed. You know what? For the Emperor, I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna oh in. Spent early for that. <clears throat> yeah, uh, so. Uh, pilot check. We're gonna go minus 20 on this one to do it. Sure. Kind of difficult. Um, and then the same minus. Or no, there's no minus on the unwielding as you just you, you use it. Alright, go for it. I'm trying to find there you go pilot check uh minus 20. Mm -hmm. jeez i botched with that oh no hey. so you what's try the... to you try to jump over that that makeshift tower you kind of like fumble backwards just land on your back and go ahead and take uh 1d5 damage because right. you hit you can hit kind of kind of hard well, it's a good thing your armor should soak 1d5 damage. Mm-hmm. It yep. should. Considering we have 22 soak, so... Uh, I can't really... I can't do a 1d5. You can only do 1d4 or 1d6. Uh, no, just uh, slash r space 1d5. Yeah, do that. Oh, slash r 1d5. There you go. But can you do slash d16? Har har. Har har. <laughs> All right, uh, bugs go now. 1d16? Your, your armor absorbs all that, but... Oh, okay. You just kind of, like, fumble okay. up there and fall back. Yep. So he doesn't move anywhere? I don't nope. move anywhere. Nice. He moves nowhere. <laughs> just nice. Saved by my own stupidity. But he's, he's prone, though. He's on the ground, flat on his back. Uh, like a turtle see. flipped over on top of its shell. Let's see. This is, this guy's gonna make a run this way, and he's gonna make a run this way too. Around this way. Turning that way. In with this guy.
Next, next boy up. Next boy up. That'd be with me. Go. Cool. So I'm gonna do a full round uh, shot into that guy. Okay. Um. That's uh, a plus twenty. So unless this guy's in cover. He's then kind of like running the oh, kind of cover, so I'll give him partial, so 10. Okay, so I get a 10 bonus then. No. What's that, just, four degrees of failure? Yeah, just, just gun, no. Gun, gun jam. No, it doesn't. Doesn't jam? No, it jammed on a, like a, a 96, actually. Really? That's crazy. I I'm want to check the action mark, because it describes it in the action. Uh, for a full auto. Was that 90, 95? Oh, darn it. it. I think it does jam. Right. No, I rolled, yeah, a, 90, like... no, I rolled a 90. No, 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 no. 94 to zero, zero. So it does jam. Yes. Right. Uh, I was thinking it was like one number off and it was. But it's just, it's just, uh, I believe it is a half action to unjam it. Uh, but that's your turn. Rapid reload, hopefully. You, right. So you should be able to, and then it, it's not that, not super bad. Could have been worse. Yeah. Okay, next guy. You're up. Uh, my patient flew off, didn't he? And no, he let it right back. He he flew. You saw him go and then fall back down in front of you. He's like kind of laying in front of you, a little more worse for wear. His armor's really messed up. <laughs> God damn it! All right, I smack him in the head and try to. All right. Don't you have that uh, repair concrete? We all have that. That's just a patch hole. Doesn't patch both the wounds. Fuck. Okay. You're unable to 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 help him. You're still just working on him. Still just, just working keeps on moving. Him. Right. He keeps squirming. All right. <laughs> Next guy, you're up. That would be Dominego Castiar. Yep. Go. Uh, so uh, uh, Apocarthy went? Apothecary went. Now it's your turn. Apothecary. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so as so I started to recover from that di uh, dive and decided to run a perception to see what's around me and see what's going around. What's going no, on? You're, you don't need to do that. You already see all these guys. You can just oh, fire, you? fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever your vision is, you can see them. You're in combat. So I see everybody. So there's so this is not a horde. It's just a bunch of uh, people. Not, yep, individuals, not a horde. Okay, that well, makes more not, sense. Not people, but yes. Entities. Well, I'll just put it that way. Yes, the the tyranids, the termagants. Termagants. Okay. Then, if that's the case. Yep. I'll do a burst fire with my bolter against uh, these two uh, guys right here on the right side. Any, yeah. Uh, yeah, does it choose multiple targets or does it shoot one target? It's, it's a Aerosis bolter with fire selector. Okay. Go for it. So is that target one or multiple? It's usually one when you're doing single all today. Because hordes are different. You're firing into a big mob of people. Single okay. entities, you're shooting at one individual guy. Okay. Then just this... fire at the most right one. Yep. Because this is going to be a little more personal combat. Yeah. No modifier? Huh. Uh, he's not in cover. No modifier one way or the other. Bop, 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 wolf. Okay. And that's full action? I believe shooting is a full action, yeah? Unless uh, if way. you just do one shot, then it's a half action. But if you're doing like semi-auto burst or a full auto burst, then those are those two are full actions. Right. Yeah, so 
I did full auto burr, so that's his full action then. Yep. Well, now, hold on. Uh, you didn't give yourself a plus 20. A what? A what? Full oh, auto that's right. You, full auto gives you plus 20, so that's actually one degree of success. Okay, so you hit him. Do your damage. But just one degree, though. So only one hit. Yeah. 15? Yeah. Ah, he's hurting. Ah, oh, shit. Let's see. What's yeah, that? Yeah. Let me get also, also, because these are bolt rifles, if you, uh, we roll an extra d10, and our lowest result is gets discarded. So you may actually roll higher for damage. So we'll just roll another d10. And if it's higher than a 5, well, I said a d10, not another damage shot, but all right. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's okay. It rolled lower, so we take the higher. Okay. Right. So you deal 18 damage. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, he's fucked up. All right, next guy. All right, so that's me. Um, so just saying, my character's vision range is like... Uh, what is this? It's probably straight to the barrier and no further. Yeah, yeah. it's about 80 meters. So that means I'm not going to be able to see the enemies, or can I share vision with the other Marines to hit them? Like, how does that work? Your vision is. You what? Whatever your vision is, that's what you can do. Um... Okay. Well, in that case, I can't do anything. So I'm going to jump in the driver's seat of this tractor thing and uh, try to move it. That's going to be... Yeah. After all, our night vision got fucked up. But it's true. Mm -hmm. But so, the path is cleared. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a drive check. Does that sound right? Yeah. You uh you're gonna try to move somewhere this I'm way. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try and go that way. So here we go. Otherwise, we would have the dark side. Oh my God! I rolled a 99. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> You do start it, and you uh -oh. do drive over that way. Uh-oh. And <clears throat> you hear a large cub blemo. Oh, no. And uh, go ahead and roll, I guess, one of your crack grenades. Oh, I guess that's the best way to describe it. Uh, Roll for damage on that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just roll for damage. Just straight up damage. And then the armor of the tank and the armor of you... Armor to tank, I'm gonna say it's reduction of five, and then your armor from that. So, where do I see my Is armor again? Is that under. Counting the penetration of the grenade? Yeah, I guess, because it's six pen. Is my armor under weapon and talents, and then armor and defense? Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Every, it, damage. Everything is 12 for armor? Is that right? Okay. okay, you see where, say, head and body are? There should be, like, a little number at the yeah, 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 yeah. empty box at the top. Um, head, arms, and legs should all be 8 in that, and then body should be 10. For whatever reason, I can't change the number, but it's no, telling top, me 12. Top, right under body, there's a blank oh, space. Oh, 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 I see. So, uh, what's head? 8. Head is eight. What about everything Arms else? Arms are eight. Legs right. are eight. eight. Body is ten. Now I do have, uh, I do have a cybernetic left arm, so I think that gives me like a plus two armor bonus or something. I don't totally remember. I read it in the rule book somewhere. Left arm. Right, left arm. Wait, the, also, uh, the the tech marine arm thing? Yeah, so I've okay, That's so I shoulder mounted thing. No, no, no. Well, he, that, he's an iron hand, so his he has a uh, right, right. hand. So I think it's like it adds to armor or something to just my left arm. Uh it's a common it's a common uh common rarity or common thing, whatever. So, anyway, um, who knows? It might not even hit my left arm. So, do I roll for 
Do I do a D100 then? Or two D100s? No, it would be just one. Roll 1D100. 15. 15 is... Right arm. Right arm, yep. So... So eight armor. So what is uh, what does six pen mean? It penetrates six. The lower number is yep. your actual armor. Button. Got it. So the one at the bottom of those lists is how much you produce. Right. So I don't, uh, I don't think you uh, take any damage. Five, so yeah, five 20. of that pen was the uh, yeah five of that pen was absorbed by the tank. That has a pen of one on you. Oh, so then yeah, you don't take any. Yeah, right. basically does nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all I was just letting you know. Okay. All right. So something that may help us for our awareness checks in the future is while we're wearing our helmets, we get a plus 20 in all of our sight and sound awareness checks. Oh, that's good. No. Because our helmets are broken. Because we have heightened senses for our bio implants, and our helmets give us a little bit of extra. So if we're not wearing our helmets, it's just a plus 10 bonus. But where our helmets are on, we get a plus 20 bonus. Damn. To all of okay. our uh, sight and sound awareness checks. Cool. Because we be space marines. We do be space marines. So everybody should have noticed like that it was not a spaceship. <laughs> but, they, but they did it. Except I think for that one guy who got like a seven degrees of failure or something. <laughs> it's a spaceship. Well, that reminds oh me of the spaceship guy in Legos. Right? Spaceship! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Damn, this session's long. Now what? I think uh, it takes person? a long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can cut it off here in the next hour or so. You guys want to stop after this encounter? Yeah, Cobra was last yeah. in order, so... Who's next? I believe you it okay is with the the Emma, or next. You guys want to push on after this encounter? Well, how much... This how much further do we have to go, or maybe you don't want to tell us? I can't tell you how long the mission is. There's okay. more, it's definitely more than one mission, if that's what you're asking. Uh, yeah, I think after okay. this encounter is probably a good stopping point. Yeah, after this encounter. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, so I guess if uh, Tess was the last, then it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do I need to do, like, uh, to get up and not be prone anymore? Is that a half hand action? Is that a free action? Is that a... I believe it's a half action? Yeah, I'm just gonna let it be half action. You guys, space just, range, you just get up. Just so you know, if I'm doing first aid, uh, it's a full round action by me and the patient. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, so do that, do that, man. Uh, I'll give also, him a plus 20. Also, just, just be aware here. You are considered heavily damaged, so I can heal you, uh, to health. Uh, I have and that's it. which means I, uh, when you heal me, I am considered a uh, lightly damaged. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Because that would be uh, very bad otherwise. Actually, hold on. Oh, wait, no, it's uh, Hardy. As, uh, other side, it's Hardy, which uh, recovers damage as if lightly damaged. I think that's what it does. Either one of those two. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I get up. I'm no longer prone. Uh, and I wait. see that, uh, well, this this apothecary is trying to heal me, so I'm gonna comply and stand in my cover and do uh, nothing. I, I guess. Can I hunger down? Somehow, is there uh, an action to there, hunger down? There's a there's a oh, uh, action for Overwatch. Let me look at that command because I was just looking at those, those actions. So what we trying what to do for that? Give Tom cover. hunger down Overwatch. Uh, yeah, I they, hunger they, down. I got all that. Yeah, let me look at combat. Da, 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 da. Yeah, they got all that. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I have it. I had a vote. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, page right? 237 there, Tesseract. Page 237? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Overwatch, full action. Uh, action, concentration, range, shooting co uh, targets coming into set kill zone. Minus 20 to ballistics. So it gives you a, a bonus. Plus 20, basically. Uh -huh. Which is really nice. As soon it's as they really move nice. into the kill zone. So, and I, I you know... I don't meta game, so if they go that way, that's just the way they go. Anyways, it also uh, minus twenty to ballistic skill. That's a that's a yeah, good but that's thing. because you're shooting at everything that goes into the kill zone. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Right. Sweet. Mm, I cannot uh, Overwatch even if I wanted to because that's a full action, and I just did a half an action just to get up. Uh, so, yeah, I can't do anything else, I guess. Or just stand here. You can Except ready. Stand there and you get can healed. have action ready something. Uh, I don't have any actions that require preparation. Okay. So no, I'll, I'll allow I'll allow uh, Moth to do his thing on on his end full action. I'm not gonna make it more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, next next in line would be the Tech Marine, right? No. I went, uh... Oh, you already went. Okay, so Tech Marine went... Human no, I, th I think the aliens are next. Oh. No, they go uh, They go after the high roll player, Demungus. Which is, I, I was the highest roll player. Right. But... Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan, Dan, Dan. Demungus. Yeah, it goes to him, then the aliens, and then then it goes... Yeah, so uh, it's aliens. Tactical Marine. Then. Be Dan, then the aliens. Yeah, but he just went. Dan just went. Yeah, I, I just went. Oh, you just went? Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You shot. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. You're out of range. However, he's going to move up. I see a thing. <clears throat> And he's going to take a pop shot at you, Danicus, because you shot him. So he's not very happy with you. So... <laughs> you just want to shoot back in kindness. <laughs> uh, you're in kindness. I don't right. think he's looking <laughs> for a hug. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. He royally fucked up. <laughs> so he's trying to use Devour. He just explodes. Yeah. His 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 living weapon just malfunctioned <laughs> into a pile of goo. Nice. That round you did got it stuck somewhere and just like. Oh All man! Right. Big shot. Right. All right. Big Next term we got. Let's see. Uh, he's gonna run. He's gonna run the full action there. Uh, he's gonna run full. He's gonna run full. Okay. That's all their moves. Next, it goes to you. Tactical Marine, go. And, uh, yeah, mug. Cool. So, Weapons Jam is a full action, which requires a oh. ballistic skill test. See, I was going to make it a free action for you, but if you want to do all that, go for you it. You said half action before. It's so free for a tech Marine, though. Uh, no, no, I said half action. That's what I said. I said I was going to make it a half action for you, but if you want to do the rest of that, that's fine. You want... Let's go with half action. Cool. Do that. Because that's what I said. It's going to be a half action. And that seems a lot better than full action. Yeah. Yeah, you're a professional. So I, that's what I said. That's what we stick with. He is the GM. Yes. 
I override it. <laughs> you that <laughs> cool. Well, it still says that I have to reload after a uh, clear action. Yeah. Yep. So I clear it and then I reload. Yep. So Sounds that's good. my turn. Alrighty. Next guy in line. Let's go. You're up. I'm up, right? Uh, uh, okay, I have nine. It's the apothecary then. Yeah, apothecary. Oh, sorry. There we go. Finally. Finally. That's, uh, four wounds patched. Oh, four wounds patched. So that would be a plus four to my health. Yep. Go. No. Full reduction of the wounds you have. Wait, how many? Oh, wait. You count up on wounds. Okay. So you you remove. Because I think I apply the damage directly to my uh, toughness and not to my wounds, which uh, how, I think I got like what, four, thirteen? Yeah, no, I got fifteen, 15. damage. There's fifteen wounds you had. All right. Uh, so let me go back to Kiso. 15 wounds, and that would be now 11 wounds. All right. And that's my turn. Next. All right. There now, it it's, goes now it's dude's turn. Domingus. Yep. No, it's Domingus. Yeah, that is Domingus. Yeah, okay. I am, I am Domingus. So I, let's go. I, he is the dude. I am the dude that throws a grenade. The dude who Go throws it. a grenade. Aren't those grenades awesome? Aren't you glad you have a whole bunch of them? Yeah. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I have grenades. I forgot about that. Toss it. Seven damage to... You forgot Alfie. about the grenades that you blew yourself up with. Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a grenade! I have grenades! <laughs> Maybe I should link it together with a shoestring or whatever the fuck I did. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just be Had happy. A bomb? Let's just be happy those grenade blasts you took point blank didn't blow up the other grenade strapped to you. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a cruel god. <laughs> you suffered enough. Yet. Oh, is that what the GM stands for? Godmaster? It <laughs> <laughs> goes off and deals with damage like ah is what they see in this Is that seven armor. damage right. per? Yep, that's seven. No, it's Gourmet. Gore maker. Gore maker. Seven per, yeah, seven per. Him for seven each. All right. Grimace uh, mid -sir. Okay, so you went, now it is back to Dan. No. You skipped me. No. Oh. Oh, you. You. I'm sorry. So, so dude tank. went, Go. right? Dude went? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just yes. went. Yeah, All right. I'm once again going to jump on the heavy, the twin-linked heavy bolter on this thing. And I want to see if I can try. Are you stepping out, uh, you stepping out of the vehicle? Oh, uh, yeah, I am. I am. I'm getting, well, you're, you're no, we what? cut a, we cut a hole. We cut a hole in the vehicle to use the bolter on top. So I'm. That's popping up through that. Okay, cool. All right. So is that does it take me a full action to like recover after last turn and get up there, or yes. can I also shoot? Yep. Okay. Nah, it takes full, full action. action. Okay. Yep. So you I just am... got blasted by something. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite sure what, but you got blasted by something. So I pop my I pop my torso and arms out of the hole, and uh, get on the gun. That's my turn. Hey, now it is uh, Senior Dan's turn. Go. All right. Uh, now that I remember I have grenades, I'm going to lob <laughs> one right over in that direction. Okay. Uh, your so that's going to be... Uh, what do I roll for that? You're going to do a two-hit roll on your grenade. Yeah. So... You just Roll click the hit, hit button, there's no modifier. Yeah. No modifier, then they open. I don't think I have grenades, that's why I'm doing it manually. I don't think I have it on my character oh, sheet. Oh, shit. 
Uh, do you want me to roll for you? I've got uh, it. Yeah, just do that. Sure. All right, here we go. All okay. right. Grenade hit. Roll the damage for the grenade. So that's going to be... Uh, start this fragment, yes. Uh, 2d... 10. Uh, yeah. 17. Uh, 2d10 for a frag? Holy... That's... Wait. Uh, zero I, penetration, 5 blasts. Zero Here, let me... Oh, yeah, I did zero pen. Yep. Explosive type. Okay. Special uh, 5 blasts. Let me see if you guys have any armor. I don't think they do have armor. They're cut to ribbons. Well, if they did, you subtract six from it. Four from it. Uh, yeah, they do have six. Yeah, yeah, they do have six. Okay, so they only take 11. Okay, cool. Uh. Wait, do frag grenades have a penetration? No, they, no. they have zero penetration. Oh. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cracks yeah. have zero. Yeah. Yeah. Cracks have six. Oh. But cracks yep. don't have blast. I'm not touching cracks ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say if you miss this grenade, you're not allowed to have grenades anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It is now the bug's turn. Uh, let's see. Dun dun. We have bugs on the loose. Yeah, this guy's gonna move up. He's gonna take a shot at you. I am in cover. Sweet. So he gets minus 20 then. This seems to like Donos throw a grenade and went back to cover. Uh, yeah. He too. Decides to go kablumo. Oh my god. The shrapnel effective yeah. bioweaponry. Two shrapnels. Yeah. <laughs> Man, at this rate, we're not going to have to kill anything. They're all going to kill themselves. <laughs> that guy comes up. He also shoots at. Oh, he's going to come this way. He's going to take a shot at Anakers here. Ancius. Ancius, thank you. They learn two yeah, you're lot of follow lessons. You're, I take it you're in cover too? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Is <laughs> guy behind him as well? Uh, so let's see. He He's shooting at you. His gun kind of goes astray. Da, 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 and uh, he's going to damage this guy behind him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Major major malfunction in their brain. He's holding it backwards. He tries to 360 right. no scope and, you and, and he hits and his he friend does, instead. He does ultimately kill this guy. Oh and he's God. like, duh. <laughs> <Dirt."> <laughs> <laughs> that grenade just messed him up so bad. Just, okay. Oh, man. Let's see. And this oh guy. God. I mean, I, I did handle the grenades well. I was just in the proximity of them. That's why I got hit as well, you know? Yeah. Uh. He's going to shoot at the medic here. He's within range. War crime. War crime. It's only war crimes the... when it's during war times. And... <laughs> Damn it. Are you oh rolling God. correctly for them? I, I, I am? Yeah. That this is their stats. Oh my god. I mean, yes. They, they only have a 33 ballistic skill. Oh my god. Why, mm -hmm. are, they, why are they even yeah. have guns? <laughs> that, that they, they did do. A, he, they did a, a half action to move and a half action to shoot. And then there's no bonus on a standard shoot. So, yeah. So this guy, he, he just goes prone. He's like, he's trying to walk over. Fall forward. It's like a clown. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, this guy, yeah, basically, <laughs> so he's prone. I still like the theory of uh, a guy tried to 360 no scope you and then he shot his friend instead. <laughs> That'd be cool. And I'm going to do a will save on this one we got here, because. 
Jesus, they're stupid. Anyways. Okay, he succeeds. All right. Next in line, go up. You're up. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna take a half action and just shoot this one that's out in the open. Here, the one that killed his friend. No, mercy, <laughs> mercy shot. <laughs> Probably gonna miss because it's you know. In the open. In the open. <laughs> And I wanted to shoot. I want to shoot twice, so I'm not. All right, cool. Um, oh, seriously? my gun does not jam. No, I just miss really badly. Yeah, so you go da 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 da, and you're hitting this tower, and kind of collapses shot. in front of you. Single yeah. shot, buddy. Oh, single shot. Well, it explodes and knocks the little shitty tower over in front of you. Okay, little then I'll barricade. shoot this guy. Then you shoot that guy instead. Well, I mean, if the uh, tower in front of me collapsed, is that blocking my sight to the other guy? Uh, Otherwise, I'll just shoot him again. Let's see. So you're firing through now. And Moth's standing up, right? Uh... Go ahead, do your attack roll. Give yourself a plus 20. You're, you're still gonna miss. I just wanna see. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean I'm gonna miss? I said if the guy in front of me, if I can still see him, then I'll shoot at him instead. Okay. But you said the tower collapsed, so can I still see the guy? Or oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, then I'm just gonna shoot at that any... guy again. Okay. I assume that when the tower collapsed, it blocked my line of sight or something. No, no, no. There's rubble. Hey. There you go. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And he gets Ooh. eviscerated. Blown to smithereens. Would you like to describe how the bullets impacted him? Cool. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so I actually did 30 points of damage there. That first D10 was to see if I rolled any better than an 8. But, uh, you know, Righteous Fury, so 30. Uh, now he just explodes. Standard bolt gun to a tiny little termagant. He just explodes. Very well. He goes poof. <laughs> it's like a 30 millimeter cannon shell hitting a person. And then exploding. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Standard bullets. <laughs> I just say that hurts. <laughs> it would, yeah. Well, it only hurts for a second. <laughs> it hurts for the moment as it's tearing into you before it explodes. Yeah. Mm. Once it explodes, you're you, need, you don't feel anything anymore. That was All a right, joke. That was All right, next person, you're up. Right. So, how does a three-shot burst work then? So you do a semi-auto burst, unless three shots is your max, in which case I guess you do a full burst. Um, but yeah, it's a full it's round action. Uh, if you're doing a semi-burst, then you get plus 10 to the roll. If it's a full burst, you get plus 20. The uh, full burst, every degree of success is an extra hit. With a semi-auto burst, every two degrees of success is an extra hit. And that's up to your rate of fire. Right, so semi-auto burst was a plus what? Ten. Uh, plus, ten plus ten, and uh, additional hit for every two degrees of success. Alrighty. By the way, I'm shooting that guy out in the open to my left. Okay. The guy with the arrows in his back, hunched over. And I missed. Do it again. You got no degrees of success. That actually means you right. load your gun, right? He's prone, though, so go ahead and uh, give yourself a plus 20. He's on the ground. Do that again. It's a full action to do a semi-fire. 
Or we no, can no, just... no, no. I mean, re-roll that. He's on the ground. He didn't account for that. Plus well, an extra add... 20, or... I mean, if I, I just add 10 20. to the roll, it's still a miss. It would be an extra 20. He's saying an extra 20. I'm adding add an extra 20. He's on the ground. He's kind of like... That just means it just hits. Okay. Roll your damage, then. Also, prone against range would inflict a penalty. Not a bonus, Thomas. He's getting a bonus, damn it. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's an extra D10. Holy shit. And you're funny. Oh, an extra D10? Yeah. Minus six? That righteous fury. All right. And I'll look up that that prone gives you what not. I mean, if you want me to err on the side of the bad guys, I don't know. I mean, the bad guys need all the help they can get, apparently. They keep yeah. pulling themselves up. Granted, <laughs> so do we. Uh, yeah, but at least we managed to survive. Also, every time we get hit, we can roll a dodge check to try and not get hit. Yep. Yeah. Or we can choose not to. We can stand there and take it. You, you don't want to tank around. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, I believe that is me. Let me double check. Me or you? Oh, oh yeah, it's going to be dude first, and then me. Yeah, after witnessing in front of me just their weapons malfunctioning and themselves killing each other... <laughs> I try to, um, what was it called? Like, Ray, uh, raise courage and says, we don't need to fear. They can shoot themselves. <laughs> yeah. And after I said that, I, uh, is that, I only see one more guy left. Um, am I, is there anyone else? There's three more. Three more? Okay. Shoot him. Oh. Apparently they should be getting a plus 10 to hit us because we're so big. Really? Hmm. Target size modifiers. Oh, uh, see. I I'll actually, uh, uh, if I remember right, our power armor negates uh, bonus to hit. They said that somewhere. Okay. I will use the heavy bolter to... Hit, hit the guy on the west side. That's prone. Okay. Okay, go for it. Roll. Uh, modifier? Uh, plus 20. Describe how you kill this little bastard. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I just want to see the damage, see how that goes. Yeah, describe, describe how you eviscerate this poor soul. As the bullet leaves the barrel of the gun, it flies to his head, going through, straight through his body. Ooh. As soon as it hits his heart, it explodes. Nice. Boom. Blood and gore, guts everywhere. He gives his uh, nearby friends a shower of his blood. <laughs> And I think that'll be my turn, right? Or do I have more action? I think that was it. That was it? Okay. All right. Uh, I believe go. I'm up. So, uh... So, my question is... I don't see any enemies within, like... From where I'm at. I would imagine okay. the Twin Link Heavy Bolter has... The same range as my regular bolter, which is like 100 meters, maybe more. Uh, heavy bolter is 150 meters. 150? Yep. Okay. So I can... Yeah. I could hit you, something that's over here, but I'm probably out of range. Yep. You, you probably. Range. Uh... I think I'm gonna... Hmm. Well, we are in combat. I was gonna say I'll take the turn to inspect the damage on the vehicle. Could I do that? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, th I think I'll do that. So, tech uh, use. All right, I'll roll for tech use. Modifier? Uh, plus 10. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, we blew up that hole in the barricades so oh, we couldn't God. drive around it. Mm. 96! <laughs> what the fuck? Your character, your guy, ascertains that the thing is completely wrecked. Beyond repair. Oh my god. Just, oh, I, no. I, you can't even fathom how it could be repaired. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fubar Brothers. Alright. Hey, who's next? <laughs> yeah, who's next? That's my turn. Uh, me again. Uh, could, uh, I'm gonna keep throwing grenades. Uh, Calder, could you roll a degree of success for a, a frag grenade again? Go for it. What are you throwing at, though? Uh, the three guys, guys on the left. Oh. Yeah, I can't barely see the first one. Oh, there's three guys over there? There's three yep. guys over there, yeah. Uh, Cobbler, could you, uh... Roll a frag grenade for me. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Roll damage or two hit. Two hit. All right. Roll to hit. No mob rises in the open, so. All right. Oh. What'd you get? Oh shit. <clears throat> it's I mean, a, it's, a, it's a, a one. So it's degree of success. So despite the red border, that should be a green border. Right. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so that is you awesome. Eat that, you eat that thing. Hits him right in the mouth. Uh, roll for Jeez. damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just use the grenade. Great success. Basically, so the damage. first first one, the first guy just, he's just gonna get eviscerated. So he's <laughs> dead. Uh, the other two take eight points of damage. Uh, actually, since they have armor, that would be two, right? Since they have six armor. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay, so they take two. Don't they have armor? Yeah. So yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. So they take two then. God, frog does zero pen, so. Damn. But the first one eats it. And that's end of my action. My Pretty turn. good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, you can have grenades. We'll allow it. I think he's made up for it, right? <laughs> yeah. Nods and appreciation. Nods pensively. Nods in disbelief. Nods uh, and nods. Who's, who's up? Nods in consolidarity of everyone else nodding. <laughs> uh, should be enemy's turn, right? Okay, Not cool. For nodding. Let's see. Now they're going to all up. I nod for effect. <laughs> okay, so they're just gonna charge up. That's their I turn. I angrily, I angrily stare at them. Err. Intimidation. Sweet. So is it my turn now? Or are they going to attack? Oh, uh, no. They moved their full action. They ran. Okay. So it's my uh, turn oh. now. Yeah, the 30, they moved 36 meters. That's their full action. Sweet. Uh oh. So they ran into the open as well? They're trying to get you to shoot at you. Their, their range is 40 meters. All right. Then, uh, they can't then shoot the... double their range for a negative. That's if they're smart enough. In case nobody knew that, you can't shoot double your range for an egg. Well, they're too stupid. They're just going up to you. Their intelligence so is like... So I'm going to do my, my free time like And I'm going to make a full round burst. Yes. The nice thing is with the full round burst is for every hit, I can move it to a new target. Also, I read the rules on uh, Righteous Fury. If any of our damage rolls has a 10 in it, we get another free attack. I love it. Let's do it. 
do it now. So, plus 20 on this. Okay, so only one bullet hit. Okay. However, it has tearing, which means I get to roll an extra 1d10 and replace that one that I rolled. So I might do more damage. Okay, go for it. Hold on, it, it threw a whole bunch of crap into the uh, chat roll for some reason. I didn't see anything. That's weird. Me neither. Well, I didn't hit enter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would do it. <laughs> yeah. So it's Fort, uh, it's, um... 19. 19. 19? Okay. Yep, 19 with a 5 pin, so 18 damage until... No. Minus um... your armor. Yep. Sorry, sorry. Oh, Because our armor right. is 6. So 13 damage in total. <laughs> Accounting for their armor. 13? Wait, but you have penetration. Wait, you have 5 penetration. Yeah, yeah. I did 19 damage. Right, minus one, 18. Minus, minus 18. five. Yep. No, no, not minus five. Or, or plus the penetration five. is five, which would... Their armor is six. Yeah, okay, so... so yep. One. Okay, so 18. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. You hit Math. a lot. Yeah. I'm just going to roll my, my logic rolls of my Space Marine right now and just fell at them. Uh, now it's my turn. Yep. Once more into the medical training. Sucks that 18 right. damage didn't kill that guy. Hey. Good job. I'll take care of you. It's another four health, and that's literally all I could do for you for the rest of the mission. Thank you. Until you take more wounds. I say, don't get hit again, then. <laughs> yeah, I can only f apply first aid one time per hit. Try not to aloha a snack bar and blow yourself up again. Uh, can't promise anything. <laughs> right. Okay, that's, that's it. Yep. Yeah, that's my turn. So I believe it's the dude. The oh. dude. A dude. Give me a second. Okay. Let's see here. Um... Where's my, where's my sheet? I have so many windows open. There we go. <clears throat> I do a full burst on my bolter. Okay. And the modifier is 20, right? Yes. Uh, yep. Uh, nice. That's four, four hits. Oop, that's not what I want. Describe how you kill this guy. I was gonna say you also get an additional attack though because of that uh <clears throat> second roll. I mean he has ten health. D yeah. Just, but describe he, how he just needs to obliterate them. Okay, deal deal more damage. Go ahead also, and do Each hit can uh move to a new target. Really? Both dead? <laughs> Yeah, every hit you can move to a new target. That's within there you a go. meter or two yeah. meters of the uh, original. Oh yeah! All right, tear it up, man. I think that's. So they have twenty-eight, ten, thirty-eight health all together. Six <laughs> armor, but you have five pins. So they might as well have no armor. Uh, so. That's approximately uh, dead. Yes. Yeah, they're dead. So describe how you destroy these two with your gunfire. Once I realized that they are very close in proximity, I fired right between them, and they just splattered all over. Nice. Fragmentation shots. Nice. Combat over. Combat over. Oh, yeah. Combat over. So we get uh, XP from that? Uh, yeah, so 500 XP. 500 right. XP. Yeah. Oh, did we get any XP from the horde? Uh, 
let's give you he held the horde off for about all right let's give you 100 points for that so 600. all right and i'll get make sure to give so 600 in total yep yeah. okay sweet When can we spend it? Like, if we have to missions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can spend any of it yet until we're done with this mission. All right. Oh, uh, it's after missions you then spend XP? Okay. Uh, that's different. That's definitely different I from. I think uh, so. I don't know. I'm just kind of assuming. It'd be weirdly. Yeah, let's do Somewhat that. Somewhat weird to just spend all your XP in the middle of a mission to go, oh man, I suddenly gained so much power. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. a very OP skill in the middle of combat or mission. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I gain a signature weapon mid-mission. It's a power <laughs> axe. <laughs> Damn. Become a chaplain suddenly. Taste my Perseus. Or become a dreadnought out of nowhere. <laughs> God. My oh, goal in life that. is to become a dreadnought and then just kill enemies. Hell yeah. Well, that's uh, that's unironically something. what Neil wants to become if he ever dies. Wants to but turn himself into a dreadnought. Dreadnoughts are just... They're not exactly machines, though. They're... You're just you guys two. You guys stopping here at this good stopping point? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. It's, it's essentially 9 o'clock here, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't oh. want to give up too much of your time. All right. That was that was that was fun. Thanks. That was awesome. Thanks, that was really fun. All right, yeah. I will see all of you motherfuckers next week. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, it's telling a story together as a team. That's usually how I view this. That's how yeah. it should be viewed. So I'm I'm the neutral party. That's just I'm the computer, more or less. Mm -hmm. You're just guiding, guiding the players. Oh, well, I don't guide you. Guys too. do whatever. My my job is the NPCs and providing challenges for y'all, and being a neutral party in the in the whole endeavor. Yep. Thank you, Hal. Thank you. Yeah, because because <laughs> uh, Tesseract and Yama could tell you, could attest like DMs that take things personal and make bad encounters really yeah. suck. I know that. One. Oh yeah, you do too, Moth. Steve. Yeah, yeah. I've I personally like. Boko is the best GM I've ever had. Like, Boko, you just... You're so knowledgeable about this stuff, and also... No, you know who's the best GM? No, no, I'm not. Uh, ha, ha, ha. No. But no, Yelmug, you're probably the, one of the best GMs I had. Thank you. Yes. I still remember my Dark Heresy campaign. That was my introduction uh, to... Uh, I I hope that I'm the most fun GM, y'all. Yes, that's dude. my goal. That Sir, Dark no, Heresy campaign generous. was amazing. I remember we went on an entire side quest because uh, essentially my character was in Deptus Administratum, so I was all about, like, tactics and uh, requisitioning things and stuff. So we went out to, uh, we went out to, like, try and get a whole bunch of supplies, and we ended up talking to this guy, and I was, like, rolling for commerce to try and get uh, water, and... Uh, they they wouldn't want to give us any water, and that got to the point where uh, the guy was like, "Okay, we'll give you whatever you want if you can find this Primark knife." And uh, so what we ended up doing is, <laughs> against everyone's better judgment, I pretty much told everyone, "Hey, we should go down Planet Side and see if we can figure this out." So we ended up going to a bar. And we talked to, like, some random guy. And I rolled, like, a 1D100. And I got a 6. So it's, like, degrees of uh, success. So <laughs> so this random guy we found in a bar told us about this temple that had this Primark knife in it. So we, we ended up going on this side quest into this temple area. And uh, I remember when I got up to the uh, temple... Uh, I saw some inscriptions on there, so I rolled for knowledge, and I rolled poorly. So the only words I could make out were temple, primark, and knife. <laughs> and wow. so, 
So then we all went in. I think Moth's character was a psyker. So, like, uh, he was able to figure out, like, oh, yeah, there's, there's totally traps and stuff. So we went in, got the knife, got chased by an Indiana Jones boulder, and then we fought some things on the way out. And then on our very next mission, I think we had to go down to the surface to, like, uh, uh, it, it was it was like uh, we had to exterminate a whole bunch of enemies or whatever, and then like a demon prince showed up, and Moth was ah. using this uh, Primark knife, and I remember he rolled a ninety eight, and then the demon ripped his arm off, and he was like, "Oh man," and then he used a fate point, and then rolled a ninety nine, so he got both of his <laughs> arms ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> and then we picked up the knife and we got the fuck out of Dodge. And then I was like, okay, so now do we want to trade the knife for water? And everyone was like, no! <laughs> because of how good of a weapon it was. Oh my god, that was like, that was amazing. Fucking love that. Uh, a quick point of note, by the way, this is my first D&D &D session ever. So thanks for yeah. making it somewhat clear. Oh yeah. And helping. Uh, yeah. Not D&D. Well, it is. It is D &D the following like D &D. tabletop first tabletop. tabletop. Yeah. Yeah. First, first paper RPG. First tabletop RPG. Yeah, yeah there you go. First tabletop RPG. Yeah. Well, hey, you didn't die, so congratulations. You're Thank already you. doing better than Thomas. Despite your best <laughs> efforts, you didn't die. Yeah. Despite my best efforts, I clutched uh, the victory from the jaws of defeat. Well, I think you and were. And that's what tabletop RPGs are all about. You were trying to mm -hmm. catch defeat from the jaws of victory, I think. That, and use yeah. your grenades. Desperately, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Book was a good GM. This is going to be a fun campaign. I know it. All right. Um, this, I'm this is also my uh, first first game ever. Oh, yeah. oh hell yeah. Nice. Glad we could do it together, man. Lots of firsts <laughs> in here. Yeah, I knew, I knew you guys would enjoy this. But, uh... All right, well, I think I'm going to cut the recording here. All right.